when softlock percent? I don't know. Yeah, what's up, Ref? I'll do my best. I am do a zone. Well, technically I'm not, because that's not how luck works, but it's been a very long time since I've had a good zone. Actually, that's a lie. I had a really good zone somewhat recently, or better than average in. Man. Where's my 11 special? Right, run's probably dead. But I did take a squirtle like this in the zone at 139, which is kind of crazy. Ended up being a two special squirtle. Speed tie lost brow turn one. Epic. Yeah, what's up, Tony the Tone, sir? Don't call me Tony Tony. You have plans tomorrow? Well, probably not anymore because I just called you that. Or at least you've probably already closed the stream. I didn't think I have plans tomorrow. Let me double check. Tomorrow's Tuesday, right? No 12. 7 minus. No, 8. 8 minus. Right? 9, 10? No, it's 7 minus. 8 and 9 gets it there. Do you have something in mind? Something in particular you'd like to challenge me with? It just force a cover all? Have you done... you've done Gen 2, right? Yeah. You know how to do everything. You could do something like that. We should add in all the gar... oh god. Get away. We should add all the garbage checks too, just for the fun of it. You just hate everything. What I should do that would be really fun, I should PB today. I'm good. I need to milk 124 for at least a week or two more. I do have an idea for a time save, I just didn't figure out an exact way to pull it off yet. The idea is 
You know how we force Tentacool before Cinnabar? The idea I have is to do Mansion later. So when you get to Cinnabar, you still do the deposit of everything, except you don't bring Tentacool with you. But you still do the same menu in the uh, Cinnabar Mansion. Or in the Cinnabar... What do you even call that building? Like where the Fossil Dude is. So you do the Fossil Dude section, and then... Instead of doing Mansion, you do Seafoam. And you grind Tentacle on the way to Seafoam. You dig out of Seafoam, puts you back in Cinnabar because you center there. Then you do Mansion. You dig out of Mansion, it puts you back in Cinnabar. And then you do Blaine's Gym, and then fly to Celadon, and then do everything. But the problem is we would need to have the X Specials to beat Blaine. And I think you can get by with one X Special, which we could pick up in the Underground, which would save $1,050. So we would have... We wouldn't have to buy X Specials, which would also um, save a bit of time shopping at the cost of having an item ball for a long time. Or like having an extra item in the inventory for a long time. But I don't know if we can have the minus one item space from right before Surge all the way until um, Blaine. I just don't think we can deal with the item space. Because I think you're guaranteed the item fool at Sylphco. But then the second way to deal with that would be to only withdraw one antidote. And then... Or just YOLO poison. But yeah, there's a lot of branches that might possibly work, I'm not sure. I'd have to think a lot. Well, clearly I've already been thinking a lot about it, but I haven't figured out, like, a strat that exactly works yet. Oh, my phone just went off. I should look at that. Yeah, I was streaming RuneScape yesterday, well, you probably saw me then, my rare escape stream. That's a 1 in 39, that's really bad dropping to 9 HP here. I didn't miss the range. I could have died. Please be 14. Oh my god, dude. This run's dead as shit. Hello? It's okay. I'll get an encounter eventually. There it is. I'm just gonna get my free Caterpie. I swear to god if you five me. Is this double tackle on 15? I think it is. I can bubble that actually. I guess you should do bubble first, because if you speed fall, you, um, yeah, you should bubble first. Because you get speed fall, string shot, yeah, oh, it doesn't matter. Because you always ball with priority, never mind, it literally doesn't matter. Just 
Does nine? I believe this is nine. Oh, okay. I guess I'm not the one that died. I mean, I guess technically that's plus 35 XP. It's like 10%. Good. I'm feeling a crit on the Weedle. And I'm just gonna like reset the run out of tilt. Okay. Only 87%. Kind of unfortunate. Average start, bad Squirtle, really bad Squirtle. This is a terrible Squirtle. But Shen, you have 35 experience more than you're supposed to have. Won't that cause a drastic shift in the experience routing, causing you to easily PB? I wonder if 35 does matter. I guess I can go 778 and hit 20. I can do. I don't think I can do 777. Nah, I don't think I can. I can't crunch numbers though. 86, 86, 86. 18, 18. Oh, I don't even get it with 778. No, I do. Because I killed level 3 Rat, not level 3 Pidgey, so I have 1 XP from that. So that makes up the 36. 1 plus 35, yeah, that's enough. Isn't it epic 3-shotting Brock with a 4x effective stab move? Of course. I rolled 5 DV, let's go! Alright, 5 DV Squirtle for special. 18, 16 is worst case scenario there. Okay, I have the worst stats possible. This is the literal lowest stats I would ever even consider playing. I think this is 11 attack. No, it's, I think. Yeah, 11 attack, 8 speed, 5 special. This thing is garbage. Mashing is trolling right now. I see I move my arm. Uh, this is all three. Pretty much an optimal counter P, I guess. You can't get the kill, so it doesn't matter. So I think that's optimal. What's up, Flag? That would have been such a good string shot hit. I would have had a chance to two shot the Weedle. I probably should have gone bubble there. Oh, thank you, G Sharp. I was not going for this quest. Yeah, minute 40 off of gold. Because my gold skips catching one of the bugs. Because it was on the old route. That's such a good string shot hit. This can two hit now. Oh, look at that roll. I'm going to crit and not kill it to be really funny. Nice. That was a crazy roll. 
for only three. All right, that was a pretty good start to the route, honestly. Cannot ask for much better. Now the problem is a speed Tyekins. That's problem number two. With being in my exact positioning. The clay is pretty good there. That's fine. One tail whip would help. It's not necessary, I don't think. A pretty decent attack here. Yeah, we're fine. Good rolls. That guarantees it, but the rolls are already good enough. Alright. Time for bullshit. It begins. Oh! <gasps> I rolled 9 DD! It's not speed tie! I saw 19. This isn't even the tie. I thought I was guaranteed eight. Cause that was sixteen, right? <gasps> did this? Did Pikachu stat XP matter? Does that? Is that a thing? Wait, I thought, I thought sixteen and eight TV. Dude, maybe Pikachu stat XP got me a speed tie win there, or like got me an extra point. I'm gonna have to calc that later. Cause I'm, I'm confident that that should have been the speed tie. So critting the Pikachu may have mattered. Just guaranteed the two shot. Oh my god, I get 14 here. Dude, there's a chance I three shot the Kakuna now. Wait a minute. Uh, I don't think that rolls high enough. Yeah, it's not. At 14, you're normally guaranteed to kill the Kakuna, but my special is really bad. So again, the level up didn't matter. That would have saved me a turn for killing the Pikachu if I would have had better special. I think if I get string shot here, I have a small chance to okay this, which is really funny. Oh, never mind. I think that's if you do Tail Whip, Tail Whip Tackle. Which is not something you should ever do. Is there a good resource on all the calcs I'm talking about? I'm not sure. There might be for, like, Red Glitchless. There's not for this category, because... I didn't make it, because it would take too much effort. You just kind of learn things as you go. I'm going to bubble the Caterpie. Because if I get a single critical or two string shots, I still get the range. I need one crit or two string. Well, that was easy. Okay. I'm going to get the range anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we easily get that, nice. New strat for ATV Squirtle. You don't know your ATV till Brock clap track. So it doesn't matter. Like, it's not better to kill the Pikachu, even if, like, you see one. But it does make that fight more consistent if you get the one in four to get eight. And that's if the DV mattered. I don't even know if it did. For the stat XP. Alright, that was overall an okay Route 3. Part of me is considering not centering. Because I have a really good potion count. It would save 18 seconds. Because I have a good bubble count as well. Uh, 
annoying. I'm probably gonna get sixed off of that. I think Bubble was correct. Okay, we're fine. I need 2 dB higher to kill that. Yeah, that'd be 2 more. That's actually close. Damn, 5? That might be 8. There. I think I insta that. It's decent. It might be an 8. That's annoying. 6. I should have delayed slightly, I suppose. A little early. Three. Like a third encounter puff could be worse. Surprisingly, that make time APBs, which is interesting. exact tie. How have I been streaming? If you mean today, not very long. This is my first run past Squirtle today. Nice insta. Seven. I actually can't catch a nine. It's not worth. I should wait for a seven. Tackle six? The answer is yes. Learning. now. This is where it's worth spending energy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh two. Oh two seven to nine. Fourteen, seventeen. Impossible. Hey, man. Okay. 
somewhat close. It's probably E. Seven again, so it is slot two. That's a lower slot two. So 28, 29. 27's too early. Maybe Geo. Is Geo. Skillful TM grab. I had the buffer a turn frame. Top floor Paris. He's ready to watch me miss the damage range on Onyx. No, you don't catch Paris here. It's much better to go for it in zone because it's free to go for. Paris can break out uh, even if you get to 1 HP. So it's like kind of risky to catch because if you fail a 71% like four times, your run is over. Did you just run out of the Pokeballs? Not even reset efficiency. Like it's just strictly worse to catch. I can hit it twice with tackle to hit it to one hit point, and then throw two balls on average, right? That would take 40 seconds. Alternatively, I could get it in Safari Zen and throw three Safari balls, and that takes 20 seconds and is more likely to catch. That could be Clefairy, it's close. I misplayed by one second. By the way, nice 12 bat. This is good XP now. Yep. Okay, that makes Zubat possible. Did I really just do that? Just count the text boxes, it's not hard. <sighs> Most people wouldn't think four seventy percent rolls is risky. Well, it depends on other stuff too, Claptrap. Because if you're catching the Paris before Clefairy, you don't know how many balls Clefairy's gonna take. So think of it like this, right? On a perfect run, you enter Mount Moon with eight Pokeballs. Zubat is guaranteed to get in the ball. Zubat's just a guaranteed catch if you damage it correctly. Um, Clefairy is a 58% and Paris is a 71%. You have seven balls to catch Clefairy and Zubat, or for uh, Clefairy and Paris. That's assuming you didn't have any other troll breakouts. Jigglypuff is also like a 60%. So you have to catch three Mons, and then that's also less balls that you have later for Snorlax, Haunter, and the other important Mons. So 
the, the problem is just like it's it's not worth the risk even though there's not much risk It's like you're partially risking losing the run to getting bad ball RNG, but you're also partially risking the run to like losing time because <laughs> you could just catch Paris when it's free. It's the same reason why we throw balls at Parasect in Safari Zone. It's just on average faster to throw Ultra Balls at a full HP Parasect at like 9% to catch compared to throwing Pokeballs at a, a sleep 1 HP Parasect that's like 21% to catch. It's just more likely uh, to get in because of how fast we can throw Safari Balls. Oh. Okay, that's the last one I'm gonna kill. Okay, we're done. That's it. I think that's also 19. It's not. If that's 10, I'll kill it. Fuck it. It is. Oh, it's 9. I should still kill it, though. That makes up the special a little bit. That's 19. I think it's this. Damn. Within 10 frames. Average. Okay. Oh, hit the 1%. Slightly harder to catch because it's harder to damage. It's nice getting Growl there. 58. In the green. In the green with level 19, but really bad set. I am going for this even though I shouldn't. Nice. As a one frame trick, it's like very controller dependent. I have to switch my hand positioning when I'm going for that item pickup, it's really silly. I got Growl Growl. No, I got... Yeah, Growl Growl. I'm good. I believe this is 39. It could be 44. I don't remember if I got a uh, tackle from coughing or not. Oh, it's 48. Uh, this. I got double miss from... Oh, uh, this is speed tie. That's why I killed the extra Geo, dude. It allows me to have a 50-50 of having a good time here. I figured it's worth killing two Geodudes to possibly outspeed there. This is worth a heal, it might seem like it isn't, but 10's a lot. I was expecting to take damage from the Goldeen, that's why I didn't want to heal before it. You know, that heal might seem a bit silly. My potion count's also really good. That's terrible. 
One crit and then in great shape. I mean, shape. just like listen to Mewtwo. Otherwise, that hit right. It's, it's the same thing. I've done this like four times now. Sweet. That's why you do that strat. One. One. Two. Click the move. Bad. Really bad. That's the craziest roll I've ever seen on Starmate. I'm healing. Wow, what? I don't even have high attack. I can water gun that, that's one HP. Yeah, that was safe. Yeah, that was right. It's a center. A water gun does three damage. I was just saying it's one HP, which means I can water gun it. You have to judge if it's four hit points, because you don't do four. I water gunned Italian. Water gun is safer because it can't miss. What's up, String? Yeah, I think I played that fight. Appropriately. Oh, also, thank you, Calamities, for gifting a sub. I even see that. Tackle misses 5% of the time. Water gun misses 0.4% of the time. So it's worth going for water gun there because it's more likely to hit and kill. There's a lot of times that you have to situationally like decide on moves that you wouldn't normally use. Because I double high rolled my mega punches. That's a great critical. That crit let me use water gun instead of bubble beam. It was also uh, a range to kill. This is carp. Make sure I do carp slot four. My spear is too high level, it wouldn't die to quick attack. Carp would. Even though it's a bit slower to menu to it. Oh yeah, it's uh, Gen 1 tackles a 95% accurate move. It's 95% until I think it is Gen 5. On top of Gen 1 missing. So it's actually like a 94% accurate move in this game. 94.6. You just don't know if you're getting the Gen 1 miss roll with Tackle.
Okay, I have Abysmal Special. It is going to be a liability this run. I forced extra experience, which might make up some of the difference once I hit level 23. All right, the fun begins on this fight. That fight was free, this one is not. This Pidgey's a range. I believe it is 70% at level 22 with 5 DV. I do not remember the damage ranges. Cool. This Nidoran is about 30%. It's still worth going for. Nice, okay. We have not lost time to bad special yet. Well, we lost 20 seconds to bad special so far. Which is less than expected up to this point. It's mostly because of the Pidgey though on Rival. Because that was going to be 10 seconds and you give that thing an extra turn. It's like the scariest mon in the run. I think this is a range, I might be wrong. Okay. 23, please. Damn. I thought the Pikachu would be enough. Okay, this Pidgeot is about the coin flip. Or er, Pidgey, not Pidgeot though. It's still about the coin flip. Okay. No sand, that's what mattered. All right, and we have to punch the Nidoran. Uh, 23, I can maybe double water gun. I'm gonna try it. I'll beam if it does less than half. I'll beam. Cool, not hard punished. Crit on the wrong turn. All right, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna go for Mega Punch here. I don't know the range. I think it's favorable. Punished. Damn. Even with the leer? Okay. I have to recalc that later at 23. So whatever. They rather run Focus Blast or Mega Punch if Focus Blast exists in Gen 1. Um, we would need a move to hit the Starmie on Misty. So Focus Blast wouldn't work. I'm trying to think if we would ever click Focus Blast on any Mon with the Squirtle. Is there even a single Pokemon in the run with Focus Blast? It would help on the short sky Radita, but we don't have um we don't have Mega Punch at that point anyway. All of the Radicates are I guess we could go for it on. Oh, it would help on the Kanga. You would we would have body slam at that point for the Gyarados, so we wouldn't lose a move there. Yeah, the, the problem would be Misty. We would have like literally no move there. So the answer has to be Mega Punch. What's my goal in this category? 629 or faster. It's very hard. Hello, R button? You wanna... How can I like... Why does my L button work so well? And my R button doesn't work at all. It's so weird. Okay, I'm gonna dip down to three bubble beams here. Because I am doubtful to hit this Nidoran range. I might hit 24 for it, which I think helps a little bit. I'll keep that in mind, Tyrant. Yeah, I think this helps a bit.
I can bait to finish it off, technically. If I miss them at chop range, I bite. Because I had it. Cool, I get 25 for the other mid chop, too. It doesn't help. I don't know what kind of range that is on 5. I doubt that it's possible. Good move selection. That was sarcastic, by the way, because I lost frames. Whatever, I can gen one this now and not be mad. Yeah. I know why I thought the Machop would live at 24. I know it doesn't. Where do I hit 25? I think at 25 I can bite, which is interesting. I want to try it so bad. I'm going to try it. Okay, you can't bite at 25, I thought you could. Sorry for, for providing false info chat. the best bridge. I can do either Doug Trio. It doesn't matter when I do it. I don't need it for the attack, so I don't need Red Bar. I have too much XP though. I hit level 28. Which means I would kill. So I have to do it before, when I'm still 26. Does high roll 29 from 28 kills? Yeah, I have to do it early. As my chops are range, it's unfavorable. I never hit that range ever. Even with perfect special, I never hit that range. I just hit it with five. And I crit the drowsy. Okay, that fight literally cannot get better. That is actually the optimal fight. It literally cannot be better. Because I didn't even crit the bubble beam. So there's no text to save. Can I imagine running this in other games of the franchise? Yeah, I can imagine it. I just think they get too long for a lot of the other games. Emerald's pretty solid. I think this category is okay in Emerald. Crystal, it's way too slow. Fire Red Leaf Green, it's way too slow. I think it's 171. It's almost 20 hours. I 
wonder what black white would be. I have no clue. I don't even know how many Pokemon you can catch in those games. I am not a Gen 5 player. Emerald 2 12 glitches would take a while. Isn't it sub 8 hours? Sub 8 like with Manips. And I think duping candies. Yeah. 213 with dupes is like 8 hours. Yeah. I guess, that, yeah, I guess the dupes is what makes it as fast as it is. Doing it without dupes would be really slow. BDSP is probably around 4.5 months. I don't think it is. There's not a ton in BDSP, I don't think. Would I do Manip Emerald? No. It would take too long to learn everything. It wouldn't be that bad, Tyrant, because you could, you do Compound Eyes Thief, right? Just teach Thief to a Butterfree, or whatever. I don't think it would be that bad. Like, it, it would be bad, but like, there's strategies to make it better, I feel like. It's not like a true 5%. I don't know what my HP was. I'm gonna still heal just in case. I have so many potions. Oh yeah, it's definitely still annoying. Um, brain, please. Function. You know what I just realized? I think you're right with BDSP because I forgot about how big the underground is. That shit would be annoying. Two repels that saved me buying one. 31 as well, damn. Here we go. That's why I healed. Don't question why I heal. Tricky now. Okay. Duck trio catch is interesting. Getting red bar there is terrifying. When did you do 60? 66? Plus 3? Oh, I go in on 69. Yeah, that is the correct play. Go in on 69. Minus one now on beams. I need to choose where to save one. Where do I want to save the beam? I actually don't know where the right call is.
You do not want to red bar the bit, Raph. I have to heal for arrival. It will save like 10 seconds though, getting the red bar for these three fights. Because I get to hit level 27 in red bar now. They get 27 off the Growlithe on the next fight, so I'll save like 3 seconds there. Gen 1 misses. I was kind of worried about that. Okay, this is Body Slam Pidgeo though. That makes up one of my beams. If I Body Slam Pidgeo, then it makes up one. This is Spiro. Fine. Fifty-seven. I think Dig was the right call. Okay, I got the range. That was the right call then. This is a speed tie with Kadabra. Good. Thank God. If I was gonna lose the speed tie, it's better not to get disabled. Or confusion confused. Ooh, good fight. Good HP. I was worried about getting like a crit vine whip or a confusion. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to get the Dug Trio after because I hit 28. I also have a 31 Dug Trio. Can I still do Boom Strat? I can, right? Yeah. Dug Trio still forces it. Okay. I have that backup available if I need. Barely another sub one, them. I know what it is. Every time I run a garbage squirtle, like, I have no issues. <laughs> it's very weird. Like, these are the Squirtles that should not make it this far. The 
This menu is just teach up to. Good HP on Dugtria, nice. Body slam both bugs. Body slam both bugs. Okay, that here is super optimal. Good. Fortunately, I did not do enough damage. It's a really low HP, Dugtrio. 62 on 31 is quite low. It's hard to get red bar. Not this can. Of course. Twenty-five percent. Wow, nice. Game was fair. You have a one in seven chance of getting trolled by the first can, and I hit the one in seven, but then I hit the one in four to not get trolled at all. So game was reasonable honestly. Fine HP. I'll double. I'd rather not be dead. With a minimum stat Squirtle that always crit and never missed be runnable. If you knew that it would always crit, yes. Because you'd have to play around always critting. The minimum speed would be really risky. There'd be a lot of issues for minimum speed. Up then down. Down on next. I wonder how much time you would save or lose to always critting. I almost just double talked to him. Holy shit. He's looking at chat. Didn't do that. That is like one of the most annoying NPCs to double talk to. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of a lot of the time you don't want to crit because it's just slower to see the text. That was wrong. I was supposed to body slam. It doesn't actually matter. I'm just up a body slam now, which is not a bad thing. I guess if I have to dig on something, this is a good spot to dig. Is 
not bad. This is triple body slam in the water gun and they missed the range. And if they dig once on the slow pokes or crit one of them, that's a good crit on the venom. That saves me a water gun, which won't matter, but it saves a turn. The turn is the nice part to save there. <laughs> Voltorb? I hit down, I don't know why I, I didn't move down. Voltorb there would have been fine. Whatever. Just minus ten. I think that's the first time I've ever had that happen to me in a run before. Exactly enough. I actually have one extra that I can use anywhere. One crit would be epic. There's a non zero chance I use the bubble beam on the slow poke. I thought about it. Oh, use it on the Oddish probably. Oh, this makes the most sense. Okay, I have to dig this next slowpoke at some point. I think I dig turn one, right? Is that safest? Digging turn one is the safest I can play this. Because if I get body slam disabled, then I would be screwed. Should be four digs. Five four is what we should be on. Really? I don't know how I'm messing that up. I don't know. It feels right. I mean, I'm gonna try it again. a second. Well, I could have water or uh, bubble beamed that Gia dude. That is minus 52 frames. Unless I miss the range on Oddish. At which point it's neutral on frames.
50%. Here we go. The final boss. Well, the gatekeeper, rather, of Rock Tunnel. It happened. Alright, here we go. One. Two. Three. Did you just quick attack? It's not over. Quick attack does four to five. Right. Almost got the six percent. Fifty percent to kill, twenty five percent to sleep powder, about fifty seven percent to hit the sleep powder, and then it's like one in five or something to sleep for five turns and we hit all of those except we woke up after four turns about a coin flip there to kill with dig jarvis roughly a coin flip we attack max is four here it's a max roll all right we move on Buffer B too early? Make no sense. Helix, Anti, Forty Five, Twenty Four, SS. Is there a world I body slam here? Probably not, right? I think at five, Zubat's better with Beam. I guess I could dig body slam, that would be an option. This is unfavorable on Radicate. Really lost time because I got quick attack on turn one. I don't know which is the better move to go for here. Like crit, so it wouldn't matter. I think I get 32 for the Machops.
It's crazy that I rerouted this entire segment to save literally one singular frame. I find that really funny. It like kind of messes with my muscle memory, but it does save a frame, so it's worth doing. If you're wondering, I pick up the lift key first now. And when I go to deposit in the Celadon PC later, it means the lift key is one item higher, so I don't have to go down the extra frame to get down like a, an item lower in the menu. That's the whole time save of doing the ordering the way I'm doing it. Because you want the lift key to be higher up. I guess I body slam tower then. Because if we did it in the other order, then this right here, this TMO2, would be higher than the lift key. Or not that. What would be higher than the lift key? Oh, TMO7 would be higher than the lift key. The TM, is it 10? No, TM 10. The one that's to my right over here. It's like just off screen. That TM would be higher than the lift key. So I had to reroute the whole movement to save that one frame. But that's speed running. These are rages, they're not favorable. I have a garbage squirtle. This is where it's gonna be painful. Having the stats is like these two segments. Oh, there's the crit. Oh, right, so there's a whole selector crit, I forgot. Damn, didn't work. Already lost 20 seconds, let's go. And more importantly, 20 hit points. Actually, I've already lost 30 seconds this segment because I missed the Radicate too. So I missed three favorable ranges on good special that are like almost impossible and bad. You realize Machop has a tail? Yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon with tails that are kind of weird. I think you, Blood Appreciate it. I can't do the meme where I say, like, this blank is for you, but this not hitting the wrong spinning tile while walking through rocket base is for you. I don't know. That might work. Oh, here we go. This double input B4F is for you. I missed the double input, I think. Well, I still went to B4F, but my double input wasn't fast. I was still on the right input, still faster. It's just not an instant menu, because I'm bad and scared. I have to dig the Ekans, which sucks. If I hit 33, I won't. I don't think I hit 33 for the Ekans, though. I think I hit 33 from the Ekans. Yeah, this section kind of sucks because I can't risk the Ekans being alive because it has wrap. So I have to dig twice, which is just slow. It has Poison Sting, which can poison and wrap, which is a shitty move to get hit by. So I have to double reselect and watch a much slower move than Bubble Beam. Yeah, no 33 for the other Ekans, that's unfortunate. 
I can't risk it. It's like 60% to die, I'm pretty sure, to a bubble beam. And it would be 1 in 4, it would be like 2% to poison me. Poison is run over. I most likely just die to Kangaskhan if I get poisoned. So you just can't risk it. But technically dying to Kanga isn't the worst because you can just center after, but it's risky because the Kanga can also just kill your Dugtrio. Alright, so this Kanga is guaranteed not to die to two unless I crit. So Speedfall is like incredibly optimal here. Even though Guard Spec happens, it can still drop the speed. 74 down to. Nice crit, 34. Not full HP is kind of sketch. 76 for Gera. Cloister. Plus damage. What's up, PRC? Thank you, buddy. Sorry to hear you're tired. Right, we're gonna definitely lose time on this segment overall. That was pretty rough. Nothing I could have done. Just bad Squirtle, and I didn't hit a single range. Missed all of them. I may have one repel. This is just super potion. That'll be minus one. This is just super potion teach fly fly. Lose time on that segment, unlucky. Just a bad squirtle that missed every range. Okay, there's a world I two shot Gyarados. If I get Leer, it's amazing. Leer from the Gyarados makes this entire fight, like, reasonable. I don't have to be terrified. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Not optimal. 71 is interesting. It's too risky usually though. Do the backup. Right here it is. Crit, para, or leer. That's good. That's perfect. I can get this range now. This would save a ton of time. Good. I crit anyway. Like, Gyarados has Dragon Rage, I'd probably save this every run, but 40 damage a turn is broken this early in the game. Especially when the Pokemon has one weakness to a type that you can only catch one of up to this point. Nine damage that fight. I have died to that fight from fool multiple times. And then sometimes you only take nine damage. Or six damage, I think, right? What did I end on? I think it came in at 79. It took eight. Okay, 
This may be a duck trio segment. Twenty two. I can actually bubble beam there. This is possible. Good. Of course, I forget, is this 87 or 71? Let me double check. I can never remember. Oh, it's 74. Okay. Is there ever a world they get for Cuba in here? 22? There is a world I get for Cuba in here. I thought about it, it's not worth it, I don't think. Yeah, 22 top floor would have been immediate Cuban. The problem is, like, desoing for Cuban on that floor doesn't make a ton of sense. Because it's 1% less common. both elixirs. I don't know why I feel like I just skipped an elixir. I can always pick up the max ether later if I forgot that. Damn, Kratos, that's pretty rough. Not able to catch up. Yeah, I've never understood... I've never understood, like, the long hours for certain workers there's like a big thing going on with um pilots right now too like pilots are also being overworked like that i think it was delta that was protesting i can't remember don't quote me i don't remember which airline it was but there was like an airline that they had pilots doing like similar shifts to like hospitals as well. It's just so weird. Nice miss. I get no one wanting to be a pilot or whatever, like... It's just... It's one of those things where it's like... I don't know, like... If there isn't demand for the job, then I guess the job just shouldn't exist. Isn't that like how capitalism's supposed to work? 
nobody wants to be a pilot, so they should either pay the pilots more or there just shouldn't be like as many airlines, I guess. It shouldn't be like force overworking your employees. Truckers have similar issues. That does not surprise me. Yeah, I think that was something I've heard as well. Yeah, working in general just is kind of a scam. Like, as weird as that sounds. Like, almost any field you can go into, you're just gonna get exploited anyway. Yeah, it's just really BS. I don't know. Maybe I can. A little late. Thank you. I was almost 20 ghastly guaranteed. It's always better to water gun here. Oh my god, that's better to bubble beam. That's high special ghastly. Or haunting. Good. That's red bar. It's a little on the lower end for HP, but it's definitely red bar. I would prefer doing a little bit less damage, probably. Of course, it paralyzes me before getting in. Very classic. I have to swap Doug Tree to the lead now. Cuban. Aim for the middle of the cluster. Twenty-one. A little early. Yeah. Oh, this might be the thirty, which is a problem. then. A little early again. Not punished. I don't think I swapped. This is so much. Oh my god. I'm just gonna throw. Tank? I have a red bar dog trio right now. That's interesting. I don't know if I can use it for much. Maybe 
Make sure I change. My brain just got backwards. Record is split, uh, prankster. I'm two minutes ahead right now, almost three minutes ahead. I believe I've learned I can do this. Huh? I didn't have to buy the extra repel. I'm not on the 442. Okay, I'm up I'm up 350. Thirteen and a half percent per ball. I'm using a ghost move, Prankster. Ghost and normal both fail to hit each other. Nightshade hits because it's set damage, and set damage moves are weird in Gen 1. Right, 
worse than average Snorlax. Two out of three runs will have caught it by now. Five runs will have caught it by now. Uh, my bird on me. Nice gen one miss. That was technically faster to gen 1 miss there because it didn't rest. So that was a faster gen 1 miss than hitting, which is kind of funny. I think it's one in like 3,000 runs runs out of licks on Snorlax. And this might be that one in 3,000 that runs out of licks. I'm not quite sure what's optimal to do when I run out. This is going rather terribly. Now triple the average or double the average. Okay. That almost killed the run. Nice. Uh, very bad. That that did not go well at all. For those of you watching and trying to figure out if that was decent or not. I don't know what my ball count is now. It's either three or five. Yeah, massive RNG variants with like a very, very high skill ceiling. It's one of the weirdest like segments I feel like in all of speedrunning is 124 Zen. The skill ceiling is like borderline infinite, and the RNG variants like half an hour. In a, tw in a, it's either like you can go anywhere from 15 to two hours on the split, just from RNG alone. All right, sub 145 in the zone. That is my typical goal. How did I memorize that spot for candy? Uh, muscle memory. It's harder than it looks, but I've done the run a lot, so I'm able to do it. Am I repelled? Repelled. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, my mouse is doing the thing. Epic, okay. Uh, I don't know what all I just marked. I think that's fine. <laughs> yeah, sometimes my mouse just, uh, spam clicks. <laughs> or rather, it holds down. As if it's, like, holding. That's nice, technically.
Spicer? Come on. <laughs> Mouse be spamming. Any hatch? No shot this is worth it, right? The two run is optimal. Run. Okay, that works too. So that lines up with this. I should have gone for bending that. Maybe I should have thrown one ball and ran. Maybe it was a bit aggressive. I also mark, like how I marked Chansey, not Kang. Guess I go for Nidorina from this, because it's more optimal. Could be execute Nidorina. He's just getting this is probably correct. Nice, that was super worth. Let's go. Yeah, technically Chansey can appear here, but I only mark the thing that I like somewhat force going for. So I kind of force going for everything I marked, except Parasect is, and Nidorino are possible to skip. I can skip both of them and not be mad. I think that was correct. 26 then, right? Something for Nidorino there. That could be Nidoran male too. Yeah, there's better odds on Taurus. Uh, I, I did this by accident, but the Tenster said if I widescreened it would get in. That was I actually did not mean to do that. Oh, well it just got in anyway. I didn't need the widescreen. Okay, I'm do a fast Taurus, it's nice to get one. I guess I get a Rhinehorn for Pinsir? Rhyhorn, Pinsir. That's worth. Yeah, that more than makes up for the Snorlax, obviously. Rhyhorn, Pinsir, Nidorino, Nidorino. Wow. The fuck is this trip? I think this calculation is correct. I get a free save here. Damn, I thought it would still be Rhyhorn. I messed up, but it didn't matter too much. Nidorino, please. Damn. Oh shit, what eggs? 25, I think that's the not common. Rhyhorn, please. I'm lucky. I'm gonna go for Nidorino. Nidorino, one time. Damn, I want one attempt to Dino. Perfect if it's correct. I am correct, that is common. I need Kang Zen. Wow. 
That's just free time. Dude, mouse, please. Second ball is close. Yep. Nice. Good D sum. I'm not gonna lie, I think that's literally the first Pokemon that's ran in this entire Zen. I'm pretty sure that's my first run. I might be wrong. That's a bit early. Oh, Venomoth. Yeah, but I was running from that literally that turn. Rhyhorn, please. Unlucky. Rhyhorn, please, not that that. Imagine getting punished like that. I got the same timing, and one was a Nidoran, and one was a Venonat. Nidorino. Dude, I don't know how many more steps I need to waste. Come on. Run me out, please. There we go. Rhyhorn, please. Thank you. I just want to get the commons out of the way because I don't want to get trolled by these. Whatever. I think I can insta that, right? On two? Plus. on you. I insta that then. Nidorina is most likely here. Yeah, I really hoping I get that. I think that's correct. Good. Right, either run me out of balls or get in. Either one is good. Technically optimal. Three balls left. It's better to run out of steps at this point. I feel like than forcing. My steps should be like almost out. I can YOLO, you know. I don't think I get this encounter by the time I run out of steps. Oh, maybe I do. Oh, and maybe it's Pinsir. Imagine this gets in on the third ball. Like, break out, please. And now get in. Imagine how sick this would be. Unlucky. It's fine. We got four balls at Pinsir so far. A lucky Taurus catch. Got on my first Taurus. Oh, no, I can't do this yet. No. I have to actually do this first. I forgot what route I'm on. I have to do this money route. Because I had bad Snorlax. Please. Carbo. Seven. Max. And Max. Two. Eight to one. Eight to one. Eight to one. Zero, 90. Okay, I have to do this trip or sell a Pokeball. That's my two options. I have to save because this is a scary trip. I need Nidoran, Mail, Kanga. That's it. Nidoran, Mail, Kanga. I'm required to get both. Nice 
to hit that first try. There's no way. Alright. Then her end mail. You sub two Kanga. No pincer. Pincer, Nidoran, Mail. That's all I need. Okay. This is hard D sum. Nidoran, Mail is not free. Get used to seeing Kanga. I am the king of hitting. Oh, it's whatever. I think it's this. After I rock. Do those. Let's go five. Just slate delay. That's all I have to do. Just do slate delay Kanga. Don't get tilted when I get Kanga scones. Just focus on re accounting. Damn, that's so unlikely to run. Is it just immediate? It's too fast, that might be Kang. I'll burn it out. It's really good. More likely to get in than run. Not often you get a second ball Toro, second ball Kanga, but that is today. I can go for Nidorino in this sin, it's not worth the effort. I can actually just get Nidorino straight up if I insta encounter off that. I did not insta. Plus five is 26 and a half. I'm not gonna get to the grass in time. Six is 32. I don't get to the grass in time for 32. 38 would be next. That's close. Yeah, I figured. I need like two more seconds. Actually, it wasn't that close. Damn, not quite a sub two safari, but close. Hello? Pick up the item. He missed it, Hedekit. <laughs> We're done for now. Second ball Kang, second ball Toros. We're out of here. Though, to be fair, I've captured one Toros in 59 balls this week, so that is now 2 in 61, which is kind of reasonable. I need to check my ball count while I'm selling. Four. 40 protein. 32. Revive. 32. Revive. Can deal with that. No, I'm missing Pinsir. PB does have Pinsir. I, I effectively have 19 minutes to get Pinsir Nidorino. To be tied with PB. After Zen. It, I don't have the money to go for them right now, though. I'm, I would have to sell two Pokeballs if I wanted to do another round of Zen. And I don't have the money to buy two or to sell two Pokeballs. I don't have the, the ball count to sell two. Because I need to catch Meowth and Bellsprout on this ball count. 
So it'd be a big risk to sell two balls and have two balls for Meowth and Bellsprout. So it's a tough, tough call to make, but... I will just force having worse reset efficiency. 160. I need to make up 220. I need to pick up 60 coins. That means I have to do this. Uh, where are they? Dude. Kinda bad at the game, not gonna lie. Okay, I'm good on coins. I have to pick up the 20 on the way out. This is why I want to switch my controllers. This is just the best time. something? I don't think so. How's PB at 33? Oh, PB gets Venom Right. So my PB effectively is Venom off. And Pinsir and Nidorino. What's my sum of best segments? I don't know. I think it's like 4.45. So my best is awkward. Yes, they call themselves the Rocket Game Corner. This is the first run of the day, too. Damn, I didn't have to reset all that much. Yeah, Celadon City is supposed to be overrun by Team Rocket. That's why there's also just Team Rocket members walking around in broad daylight. Like, this is supposed to be like a city of crime or something. Like, there's two Team Rocket members just walking around town. Yeah, there's still like an infinite amount of things that can still go wrong. Like the last time I got this kind of a safari pace, I immediately lost the run to fishing. It was 11th try slowpoke. I lost 9 minutes. And then I lost 10 minutes to pincer, so it was effectively tied. I was in the same position already, <laughs> which is kind of crazy to think about. I think that was a 201 Safari, so I'm a little bit ahead of that run. They have less Pokeballs, which will make a bit of a difference late game. Because this ball count is kind of scuffed. Because my Starlax catch was really bad. What was it, 15th ball Starlax? I mean, I guess if we take the average between everything, it's about an average run. It's just I would much rather get lucky on Taurus Kang than Snorlax. I'm just happy I clutched out Nidoran, Nidoran Mail. That is a hard catch. Like, going for a 5% in Zen, that can be a big run killer. Especially when you're on good pace, like having to calculate properly. We currently can't global warming. I'm positive that if we looked into it, we could. 
I feel like the way that we could manipulate it is you just manipulate getting the lucky machine and just do that manip a couple times. The Gen 1 slots are really weird. Um, one specific machine is a luckier machine than the other ones. And you can get into, it's like a watery mode where it just gives you wins over and over. You're just like very favorable to get 777. The problem is winning coins is slow. Yeah, that's what I mean, Patty. I would much rather get lucky on Taurus King. Like, this run is really good. Not quite the fastest I've ever had, but very fast. No, it's actually not that much faster, Global. A tool-assisted run of this game would buy as many coins as they can with the money they have, and then they would play the slots. The animation for winning 777 is slower than buying six sets of coins. Because it's 300, or it's 297 coins to win the slots. Because, you know, you lose three or whatever. I can buy 300 coins faster than winning 300 coins from the slots. It takes a long time to generate the coins, like to spit them out. It's something like a minute of just watching the coins count down. And you can buy about uh, six coins a minute. Like a tool assisted run would still win the slots because then you don't have to get the money. But for us, we just get the money and buy coins because winning the slots is not worth doing. I just realized I kept my full restore. I didn't have to sell it. Because I didn't have to buy the extra repel. That's so helpful. I do have to pick up more coins. <sighs> Alright, big moment coming up. Wish me luck. I didn't deposit my Pokemon. I should go do that. I definitely didn't. Uh, I need these, don't I? I believe I do. I forget which money route I'm on. Shit. I'm trying to move my controller, man. Come on. And I definitely didn't deposit, right? It's not that big a deal. It's not worth saving for Dratini because it only loses like a minute, but it makes the late game scarier. It's not worth resetting for. Uh, not that. Oh my god. Menuing. I always forget you have to do this menu now. I do stuff in a different order than I used to. So we have to deposit there instead of earlier. Just bad muscle memory. Alright, I hope I did the right coin strat. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, big moment. Looking for mid 30s. It could be worse. That's decent defense, too. 8 defense, 10 speed, uh, 0 or 1 special. Special being really low is scary for Lorelei late game. Very, very scary for Lorelei late game. But I can always do ghastly strats if I'm on pace. It's totally reasonable. Horn drill slot two. PP up horn drill. Ice beam slot three.
What happened in Zen? I threw four balls and got the Taurus and the Kangaskhan. Sometimes you get lucky. All I need, can leave. Oh my god, they have a 4% Meowth too. It's 4% to get level 19 Meowth. It's 87% per ball, I have four balls. 87%. <laughs> it broke out of one. Yeah, that's pretty much a perfect segment. I don't remember what my HP on the Haunter is. Beam Beam on 5 dB in the average Haunter should be 7 to 13. So I'm probably at 10 health. So I did beam beam on average roll. Oh, I get to see it on the Machoke fight. I don't have to panic yet. Yeah, we see it on Machoke. Don't forget anything. Just play solid. It's not hard. Play solid. I cannot do more than that. I didn't know what my Nightshade count is. I forgot how bad my Snorlax was. I don't have enough Nightshades for this segment. I'm pretty sure I don't. Should I do the weird? Okay, this is a strat that I theory crafted. I've never done in a run. I don't have enough Nightshades for this. On average, this still works out. I need one hit self, of course. I need one hit self. 50-50, man. I've already hit myself twice this run. Okay, whatever. There's one. Thank you. It is statistically enough on five nightshades. So I should statistically be fine. I have a backup that would work. Oh my god, Did that work? I would have to tank a hit. Okay, I have a backup if I get bad confusion. What happened at Safari? I second balled Taurus, second balled Kang. First encounter for each. Things turn one, and it rolled three. Not great. Thank you. That's annoying. That's super annoying. Get the range. That helps. That gives me a better damage. Damn. I live that, I live on one. Whew. Got there. That was scary. That's another spot where having a terrible Snorlax matters, because you just don't have enough nightshades for that segment. It was all calculated, I was pretty safe. It was not not super risky. It was just a little risky. Oh my god. Come on. 
What happens if it higher rolls a poison sting? It was three to five. I was one in 39 to die. One in 39 roll was seven. I have a backup if I died as well. I lose 1500 XP on Dragonair and I sacrifice um, Doug Trio to Explosion on Koga to make up the XP. Yeah, I've had some pretty scary fights so far this run. I lived on two from the Oddish. I lived on six to critical Doug Trio dig. I had some very awkward fights. Yes, a very good Zen one. I think my second or third best ever Zen. Do I save? I save for arrival on this kind of pace, right? Yeah, it's eight seconds. I save for arrival. It's like 14% to lose the run. If I don't save, I'm gonna save. What the hell did I not mark? Oh, it's giving me out. for spazzing again. That is the worst thing it can do. That is the literal worst it can do. Twenty-five percent. Okay. Marked victory bell, thank you. Happy I saved, but I didn't need it. Alright, I'm really glad I have the extra super potion now. It actually mattered. Well, my, my defense DV mattered. Yeah, I would have died with, like, slightly worse defense. Like, 5 DV would have died. Well, could have died to crit wing, uh, crit quick attack wing attack. I should have grabbed this from the right side. That was slower to grab it from the top. Small mistake. It loses like maybe half a second. You, elixir, you. Perfect. I haven't swapped Horndrill to slot one. I'm gonna rap at some point by accident. Uh... Thank you for your time. I just wanna not rap by accident. I mark Lapras when I dig out of here, Global. I have more important things to be thinking about than what's marked and what's not. Like, how much damage do I take from Critical Horn Attack? I believe it is 41 average roll. This is double. <laughs> Alright, D-Pat, see you later, buddy.
Flute, 36, Coin Case, Card Key. Card Key last. Flute, 36, Coin Case, Card Key. Time that we're looking at is Safari round two. I have effectively half an hour from now to do Safari round two. Good job, if I was on top or bottom. It's pincer only. I leave when I get pincer. I have to do Erica. Erica Koga pincer in half an hour. Nidorino is a three minute time save if I get it. This is 20% to live. Good. That is Hypnosis, and my special is 0 DV, so I had no choice but the hope that I killed. Getting Hypnosis there could have cost me a Super Potion, which is annoying, and the full restore potential. Yeah, you can get Chansey in Mewtwo Cave. You don't have to force it early game. That's fine. I'll just cure it. It was a mix of both Q. It was clean D sum with really good ball luck. I also got to throw four balls at Pinsir in that time. No, more than that. I think I saw three Pinsirs. I might be wrong. I saw some amount of Pinsirs. More than, more than one. But those didn't get in, which, like, I'm obviously not complaining. Yeah, if I got the pincer, that would have been the best zone I've ever had. Not even close. Okay, I have to walk in fuchsia now. Uh, you can't... Remember to walk in fuchsia. Walk. for the next fight depending on HP. Perfect. Perfect. This is the optimal fight, 96. This is a really safe HP. In fact, it's the safest possible HP. Yeah, I could have a good round two as well. I'm guaranteed to lose time. Literally guaranteed. 
It is not possible to save time. Even if I get first encounter, first ball pincer, I cannot save time. PB literally goes in, picks up the nugget, leaves. Because I already had everything on round one. Elixir. Did I just sound glitch the elixir? That sounded wrong. Thank you, sheep. I will do my best. for that. Okay. Good. My zero DB spec calc was not wrong. I expected 41 damage. Well, I expected uh, like 40 to 45. So I knew I would live crit is what mattered. Don't need to make up. I am faster than Weezing. Free fight, no agility. I'm guaranteed 9 DV. I am faster by one speed. I will hit 64. I do not need to check. Accuracy go. Free fight. I don't even have to be a little wimp that checks. There's 9 DV. This isn't Let's Go, guys. Nice try. Okay, let the time loss begin. Good segment. That was pretty much a perfect segment outside of getting hit by the poison powder. But I also dodged the poison gas. Yeah, that was nearly perfect. Play solid, that's the best I can do. Just play solid. Do not do anything other than play solid. Surf on Blastoise. Strength on Blastoise. Good menu. It's a very awkward menu because you just have to toss the antidotes. For the second part of the menu. Oh, I almost flew. Okay. Would have been bad, but not not end of world. Twenty-nine carbo. Twenty-six calcium. Protein. Nine, six, twenty-one. No. Thirteen and adapt. All right. 
We have one singular Pokemon we need to catch. Here we go. Just play solid, it's all you can do. Arena. Yeah, almost. Thirty percent. Upper mid, that might be off. I knew it was early, imagine. I mean, this would save a lot of time later, right? Like, I'll take free balls at this. If that got in, that saves, like, several thousand later. That's why it saved, was in case something like that happened. Did arena potential? It's worth looking there. Oh, shit. I need to play smart. 25... I think that's correct, but it's 25, which threw me off. This should be 25 again, then, if I'm correct. Mid to low. A little early. Oh, really early. I got kind of rolled. Nidorino? It's probably Nidorino. Okay, no, it is Nidorino. It saves three minutes. That was my third attempt at that. Eh, kinda early. It's worth looking there, though. I thought my ball throw was bad. I think that's correct. That was such good decent. Yeah, I knew that was bad on the Nidoran. Good backup. Get this shit done. That was very solid. Just a clean, clean zone too. That's all I could have asked for. Oh man, I'm down to rare candy from PB.
Oop. Sorry. In the cut menu, I need to switch Haunter to the lead. Haunter has to go to the lead. I forgot to switch it in the fly menu. Dude, I do this every run, man. I thought it was three text. It's three, okay. I thought it was three, then A. It's two, then A. Ball counts two, 97. I threw two and I had four. 97. Swap nugget. Swap iron. Sell. Okay. End of the menu. Menu's free. It's not hard. Menu is not hard. Not doing 39 strat. Please, I'm hitting some. Not 15, not 16. Not 15, not 16. Perfect. Guaranteed to get in. Candy on Nidorina later. I need to make up one candy still. At some point in the run, I need to make up one candy. I am short by one currently. I'm currently minus one. It's getting actually kind of cold. I'm down to candy because of Nidorino. Typically, Nidorino is how I save the candy that I need to save. It's almost always Nidorino. I have to get Kingler, Dugong, Golduck, Graveler. I think those are the only options that I have left. Weezing, that's the other one. I have five other Pokemon I could catch. This is Fly Fuchsia. Alright. It begins. I need Horsey. It's 25%. It's time for fishing. 
It is one in four to get a horsey. There is no manipulation for the rods. It is pure luck. Shot is fine. Mewtwo Cave has Chansey 10% chance, level 64 on the Mewtwo floor. I will catch it there. There's no chance I catch it in zone. Not even remotely worth it. It would be the worst of all of them to catch if I had to catch it there. Now 75% to get something useful from this rod. Okay, it is still a useful Pokemon. This is technically the worst that fishing can go so far. We would like to get Goldeen and Horsey from this. How the run's been so far? Look at the splits. Horsey, please. Okay. It's now 50-50 for something useful. I need Horsey or Goldeen for it to be useful. Very good thing to get. That's an annoying Gen 1 miss. You're already low on Nightshades on this segment. Missing there just kind of is annoying. Alright, like I said, it is 25% for Horsey. We have rotted five times without it, or four times without it. Come on, man. Well, it appear that this is where I am going to lose my time. Another 25% go well, it'll be okay. I've seen everything twice except no horsey yet. I really lose at least five minutes, it looks like, on this segment. I have to do Ditto here as well. well most likely. <sighs> Come on, man, please. That was bad. That was only bad. That was not kill run. And on the bright side, I got all four. Like, that's helpful. Getting all four, not bad. It's just convenient having all four now. Horsey, yeah, I got all four. Okay. I can do the early water stands. That saves time. That probably only cost me like three minutes. That was like not terrible.
Okay, I have to force Poliwag now. Poliwag on 21. I have to force that. Yeah, I don't force that on 22. That's 21. I need Bellsprout, and I need Ditto. I'm not required to get Ditto, it's just very good. There's my Bellsprout. I'm not gonna repel, I'm gonna try to get it. Bellsprout is done. Weeping Bell would be nasty, I've only gotten it in one run before. Kinda sucks getting para. I don't really have a better option than just holding right here. Oh god, okay. I did the movement right. I just panicked for no reason. That's how you're supposed to do the movement. That was correct. <laughs> I thought I was doing it wrong for some reason. Well, it's just because the trainer's scary. Okay. Overall, that wasn't terrible. I just don't have ditto. PB is ditto. Fly... Yeah, that's about a three minute loss. Center. Okay. All you dragon, you got this. Uh, this. I need to save for Pit. What am I doing? I need to save for Pidgeotto. This is Pidgeotto. Save. first. That's totally fine. It's a really awkward roll. Good. I would have crit if I didn't three turn. Voltorb Repel. If I get early enough Pika, I go for the ball here. Only thing I don't need. That's immediate. Be Pikachu, please. It's more optimal. Thank you. I'm gonna go for the Voltorb here. I just get a hard ice beam. There is self destruct, maybe not worth. I'll skip. Fuck it. I go ice beam ball. Ice beam ball. 25% to get memed. This is the correct call. Rap is fine too, but I think Ice Beam is better. Heart? That's the annoying thing I could have done. Freeze would be sick. That's even better. 87% to get in. Perfect. Good crit. I guess there was a 50% to get memed. I didn't realize that was an option. I 
I will take a magnet. I would just kind of prefer not getting one, but it is it is optimal to get a magneton. And then I have Dug Trio for the strat. Okay. Okay, I did get mean. That's a five percent. And I have calculated a backup strat because this has happened twice and has killed a run before. Yep. Run would have died. Would have gotten paired on. Haunter, should have been GG. An excellent backup. Please. Okay, we just stroll up and throw. No fancy business. No, 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 we, we do a fancy business. We show up and we wait until Dugtria dies. How did I get two of these, man? It's three times as likely to get Magneton. So one in four. It's a one in 16 chance. Come on. Quick attack crit. Quick attack crit. Quick attack crit. I boost my speed, so I'm guaranteed to run. Very cool. Swap to Doug Trio until drill pack. Swap to Doug Trio. Doug Trio. Get drill pack killed. Please use Eternal One to be hype. Annoying. Annoying. Thank you. Farfetched, Master Ball. Good. Fly. Okay, still so need to leave Haunter until I get Rabbita. Then I heart switch. I save for Pidgeotto. Oh wait, no, I don't need to. I'll do the other strat. Yeah, the one with Manip's Master Ball Snorlax is the heart. We can't Manip it. We can manipulate all the other legends. What a fucking meme, man. It's another 4%. Give me Radita or Radicate. That could be Pidgeot though, which is actually fine. Okay, that was what I was expecting and what I wanted. Okay, this is a save for Pidgeot though, kinda run. 21%, come on. There's no memes. This for this, this for this. Save. I just marked two mons. Probably Voltorb and something else. How the hell did I miss mark two Pokemon? Bellsprout would be one then. Uh, I haven't marked Raditz yet. That's the other one. Eighty percent to be Pidgeotto. Classic one percent.
I saved. I can reset if I drop the uh, nine. Eighty percent to be Pidgeotto. Okay, between this and the Raichu's, that's about one in two thousand to get trolled this hard. Very cool. Repel strats are not working this run. Eighty percent. Thank you. All right. Well, now we need to hit a twenty or a seventy-nine percent. If I hit the seventy-nine percent, it's guaranteed to get caught. Perfect. Guaranteed to catch it now. It's just potentially slow. So I can no longer miss my hypnosis, which means I can keep it to sleep permanently. Okay. That was a bad PGO to encounter, but they got in first ball, which is reasonable. Alright, tentacle time. Yeah, I ran the numbers on running out of Hypnosis PP, and it's like, it's like not even worth accounting for, but you are correct. It's like one in like a couple million. Same with running out of balls. Like using 99 Pokeballs on a 47% is possible, you are correct. Okay, I have to save for Tentacle now, because I have a pretty bad, um... Pretty bad repel count because that was a bad Pidgeotto. though. Why not catch Wiggly Wheel? On average, even with it on screen, it would take me six balls and it would take time to damage it. But let's assume I just caught it on the average, just six balls. I could also just trade the Venonat for it and it's faster than throwing six balls. And it doesn't cost money because I don't have to throw Pokeballs. Alright, this is 1 in 510 to get an encounter. Right? 5 out of 2560? Yeah, it's like 1 in 500 to get an encounter. I didn't fish for Poliwag. That's a mistake. It's not that big a deal. Thank God I got this fast. Okay. It makes up a little bit for the Troll Pidgeot, though. 35 is awkward, but doable. Okay, I have a backup trap for 35. The backup trap for 40 is minus one rare candy. And I don't have Nidorino, so I'd be minus two at that point, which is really bad. Not the worst. No polywag though, I didn't do that because I'm stupid. Okay, eight repels is scuffed, but still can survive. Trio, Farfetch'd, Mr. Mime. Draw a Tentacle, Pidgeotto, Zapdos. Change. Haze. Withdraw Helix, 45. HMO2. No, not yet. It doesn't matter, I can just do this, because I have this on me. I just need to teach it to emanate later. This doesn't lose time. Just slightly slower, because it's like one more input. Trying to two. Geodo, slot one. Q 
Helix. Grab the TM. Dude, yeah, this guy's in just the shittiest spot because he double walked to the right. There's a guidebook where he recommends using the Master Ball in a hard to catch Pokemon, which is funny because you can't get Tentacruel in the wild. Old Amber. <gasps> I almost hit B. That would have been like 10 seconds. It's not a big deal. I didn't hit B. That's what matters. I'm gonna deposit all. Not you. Deposit you. Three. Four, two. Four. Two. Okay. Only slightly scuffed the menu wing there. That second was okay. HP both TMs. HP both TMs. HP. Both TMs. So bad at repel bike, man. I need to practice that between runs. Oh, I had to scratch. I mean, it doesn't matter. I just forgot that I took damage. Uh, this. Mansion is, I think, perfect in PB. So I will never touch this mansion. I think it's like literally impossible to save time. Okay, this can kill the Charmeleon. It is good information if it does. That's good. It's a great sign. Okay, this can two shot the nine tails. If it two shots the nine tails, it is a good sign once again. Pretty good. By 65. That would be my guess. Here we go. And you can see all my stats. 67, 36, 73. Wait, was that 36 speed or 33? My brain was off. It needed to be on. Was that 36 speed? That's perfect if it was 36. I think it was 33. This is a ridiculous emanate. If it's 36, it's like actually ridiculous. 33 was attack? What was speed? It was 36? Perfect speed, let's go. Um, Illuminate, no, uh, this, this, this. If I get an encounter, it is 25% to be level 36 Penita, which saves like a year and a half. Okay, that's fine.
All right, the hardest section in the run begins. Oh, that doesn't always kill. It's fine because it's Grimer. I'll see like a hundred of them. This is probably a mentally harder segment than Zen. Does this work? Dude, I should not be doing what I'm doing. Yeah, it does. Okay. I forgot when I need the commons, I'm supposed to leave Haunter. Okay, it worked out. Yeah, I should be leaving Haunter for the commons. And coughing and Magmar Detective. Yeah, you repel everything lower level than you, Prankster. Coughing, one time. Come on. It's fine. I still need this eventually. That was just more likely to be coughing than muck. By a small amount. That's really annoying. Okay, that's less annoying. One more. Oh, so one HP out of guaranteed. Or not guaranteed, but max catch rate. This is 43% per ball. Muck is pretty easy to catch compared to most Pokemon. You would think Muck would be a really hard catch, but that is not the case. There's no fucking way I got muck wheezing. That's a 1%. There's my rare candy saved for Nidorino. This is not a Pokemon you ever get. It's also very hard to catch. Maybe really low on shade. This is a very hard catch, Mon. Part of the reason why this is so hard to catch is because its moves are really strong. It has a uh, smoke screen. No, it does not get explosion until level 43. There's the annoying move. It is still better to hypnosis. It is still better to Hypnosis. It is now better to switch to Zapdos. And go for Thunder Wave. Like I said, this thing is a fucking pain in the ass to catch. By the way, it was 38% for the first four balls I threw. Now it is, I think, 33%. Let me double check because it is important. There's the poison. I've just never had a wheezing get caught easily. It's really interesting. Yeah, it was 33% per ball. It's 28% per ball now. So I'm gonna lose my Zapdos for this. Unlucky. Yeah, it's 28%. I'm like four times the average now almost. This is going terribly. It was almost worth running from this and just using, or not being able to use the candy. Just because of how bad this catch is going. But like, 
99.7% of runs will have already caught it, and then it would have been worth doing what I'm doing. So, I don't know. This is, like, comically depressing at this point. Like, it's actually straight up 1 in 4 to get in. I've thrown, like, 25 balls, but whatever. Can't get average luck here. How in danger am I of wiping to the wheezing? Or more the magmar later now? Because I lost Zap this early. No, it's, it is just the correct play to throw balls until it gets in. It is one, it's, it's almost one in three to get in. There it is, okay. That was horrible. I think that was 16 balls at a one in three. So that and Snorlax really cost me so far. I still need this, which is kind of annoying. I guess I go Omanite and Water Gun. Yeah, Emanate Water Gun's correct. So that way you don't get poisoned. There's no way this kills, right? How's ball count? Uh, really low. That Weezing cost me a ton. You usually want to leave Mansion with 60 or more Pokeballs, and there's 0% chance I do that now because of Magmar. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I'm catching Magmar either. Okay, what am I still missing? Ponyta, Coughing, Magmar. Ponyta, Coughing, Magmar. This can be Magmar. That could be Magmar. Good. What do I do here? This is probably Omanite, Water Gun, Hard Switch, Haunter, and then Sleep. I think is correct. Good crit. I'm gonna test my luck. I can't lose Emanate. Right, I can't lose Emanate. Shit. If I get a wrap off, it's useful. I believe I have wrap on this. Constrict actually is enough damage, I think. I, I need one more damage to put into higher catch odds. Good, that's all I needed. Speedfall there is actually great. I outspeed the Haunter now. That's a very good speedfall. Oh, it just got in. Helpful. Coughing Ponyta, the two hard ones to go. Thirty-one. I've learned how to play off this. Beautiful. I hit right between the two I needed. A mucky. A little late. Yeah, that's the problem with being a little late. Please let me run. Thank you. Yes, Ponyta, please. How do I get two 1%s before a 4%, man? Shit just doesn't exist. Slightly late, Magmar probably. Once again, right between the slots. Oh my god. 
Once again, right between the slots. And like 99%. This is like one of the worst luck mansions I've seen. Gameplay's been amazing so far. Please be 36. Just one down, one to go. Just coughing. This is Nightshade Lick, I believe. Crit be epic. I need one more. I just don't have the Nightshades. I need to keep two for the coughing. Okay, Paralyzer's just free. Just need coughing. Got in as well, nice. Just coughing, come on. You can do it. I know it's like one of the hardest ones in the run. You can do it. 35, make it easy, thank you. Okay. Instant encounter, 33%. Yes, 33%, please. Fifth mark. It's actually higher than 33%, it's closer to 50. Five cycles out. Yep. Impossible. Once again, instant encounter, 50-50. Come on. It's got a chance. Come on. Double 36 penny. I'm lucky. I'm playing so good and I'm not getting rewarded. I hate this. Come on! Where are my Pokemon? It's close again. Alright, well I haven't had the first cycle until I got memed. Close again, come on. <sighs> I have been within 10 frames seven times without hitting it. It's close again, come on, please. I played so good. I didn't lose the run. It was a really bad mansion. Not Literally nothing I could have done. That was really good gameplay. Yeah, there was literally nothing I could have done. I played like actually perfect. I think it was like eight or nine mucks before I got coughing. It's literally a coin flip. I have Weezing, which saves a little bit of time, too. Uh, Zapdos. Repel. Go. Coughing, uh, is... It's not guaranteed, but it's, like, incredibly high odds to get in. It's, like, 87%. It wouldn't take 22 ever. Getting a 20 second ball coughing would be the same as getting a first ball Snorlax 22 runs in a row. Okay, I use Tentacool if I die and I adapt. This is all an adapt if I die. Can I die? I take 
I don't take burn damage. I take three from Ember to 13 and Stomp does 11. Oh my God, what's minus one Stomp? I think I can die to minus one. Any move but Stomp. Perfect, okay, we're fine. What my adaptive been? Yeah, 11 or 7, that would have been a lot. Scary. Alright, well there goes 8 of my 16 minutes ahead. But I make up three of that because I got wheezing. So I only lost five minutes here, technically. And this is the hardest segment in the run. In my opinion, it's the hardest segment. Still surviving. I was supposed to swap Haunter back to the lead. All right. I need to hit two 50-50s. Here we go. This is quite simply two coin flips. There's nothing special. For those of you that don't know, there are Slowpoke and Poliwhirl in this water. I need both. That is the best encounter to get first. I only need to hit one more coin flip. not mark a Pokemon. I feel like I didn't mark something. Alright, this is not a coin flip. I am literally guaranteed to get something useful. I cannot get a bad encounter. This is 100% guaranteed. I now need to get the 50% Slowpoke. That's an annoying hypnosis. I think it's correct to try to wake up. I believe it's faster. Bro, you're actually trolling the shit out of me now. Remember when I missed nine hypnosis in a row on the wheezing? I remember. Okay, got him first ball. That's good. All right, one coin flip to go. For this fishing, at least. It is one and two to get Slowpoke. Oh, for one. I don't have Nidorino. I threw, I think, six balls, didn't catch it. 
You need two Poliwhirls because you have to trade one and you have to evolve one. Jinx is only obtainable via a trade. Poliwhirl is only obtainable from evolving a Poliwhirl. Thank fucking god, man. Okay, that was exactly what you expect. Four fishes and out. Alright, I just saved 11 minutes compared to the last time I was at this point. Okay, I'm doing Water Stone route. Cell. Max Potion. Calcium. Carbo. Max Revive, Max Potion. Iron. 14. 22. By a seven. We do three supers. I think she went up and I missed playing. I guess she did go down. One. 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 Two. Four. Uh, this is... Nineteen. I can do eight. Tempted to lead. Why? Like. Thirty five strat, thirty five strat, thirty five strat. Thirty five. Thirty five. Surfax four. Surfax for. I failed one twenty five percent. Nice. Okay, good fight. Full health, effectively tentacle going into the next one. Oh, so sorry if I'm not reading chat that much. I have to focus a lot. This mid game is where like a lot of the route complications come into play because there's a lot that can happen it's very complicated for the next like hour i'm tracking four separate pokemon's experience as well which does not help it's perfect Crit that does save a turn. 36. One down.
Am I really only at 61? I feel so low. It just does not feel like I'm at 61. I feel like that should be higher. I missed Radicate, Nidorino. Yeah, I don't have Radicate. That's a big one. Yeah, it counts the poly. It just... I mark it red to signify both of them. Because there are some runs where you skip it. If you have, like, low Pokeball counts or something. I didn't get Magneton. Yeah, I've gotten, like, no bonuses this run outside of Weezing. Weezing Parasect is, like, all I've gotten. I may have always hit 40, Prankster. That's why we get Omanite and teach it Surf. Beautiful. This is the damage range. It's actually favorable. Oh, I'm not 33. Right. They don't have the Nine Tails XP. That was not guaranteed. Or not a range at all. Yeah, because I had I had 35 Tentacle, so I'm missing a lot of XP on the Dominate. So I'm still 32 here, but it still dies to Surf Surf. This is a range to kill with Crit instead of being guaranteed to Crit. That's the issue with being 32 here. Annoying. Annoying. those of you wondering, no, that did not go well. I know it may have been hard to know this, but that was uh, not perfect. I need to get Eevee. I don't have Eevee yet. Get Eevee, fly the Saffron. Center there. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, yeah, center and Saffron then. Yeah, there's four wrapping moves. There's Bind as well. Yeah, no Ditto as well, MLB. My catches are pretty scuffed. Yeah, these are like some of the fastest optionals that you can fight in the game. Plus, they give really good money. So for the speed run in particular, they're really good to fight. I need to remember to get Eevee. 
Eevee's one of the mons that I was counting that I don't have on me. Where the hell? I need to swap up my accuracies at some point. I could water gun there, but I should be fine. Water gun was technically correct. Good. Come on, just give me super potion, man. Just super potion immediately. That's fine. Please level. Good. That helps. Damage range. That helps the damage range. We just took an extra, like, five damage. Good Blaine segment. No issues. Average fishing, average gym. I really hope I counted everything right. It's fine. Grab Eevee. Time for us to feel the pain of zero special dragon hair. Got a little bit to go though. What the hell is this menu coming up? Fly saffron, enter the center, deposit all but one. will be in here. This should be Bellsprout, I think, and the two water stands. Bellsprout. Sends you anyway. Right? Four, two, one, one, two moons. Yeah, this is correct. So those are the five I need to withdraw still. Two of them will be in this box. Two in this box. And then two in the other box. I can swap out my X accuracies now. I'll swap out my X accuracies and I thunderstand. Hello? No. Fire stand next. TMO7 secret key at the end. TMO7 secret key. Accuracies. Fire. 
Pass it off with G. You know, I have to, yeah, I have to do Nidorina now. This is Nidoran, not Nidorina. I do not have Nidorina. Both water stands. That's it. It's only the two water stands. Go to box two after. Water stands. Shelter. Go to box two. Nidoran male should be on top. Oh, it's not. Nidoran male. Nidorina. It's cute. Nidoran male. Nidoran male. Very important to not do the other way. Oh, what am I doing? My PB didn't get star you, so it doesn't have the four water stems done. So I'm just four evolutions ahead. Just not a ton of time. This run is still slightly ahead of PB. But it's time to save later. King, Queen, Executor. This is it. After this, deposit everything. Withdraw Pidgeotto, Omanite, Blastoise, Zapdos, Dragonair. Pidgeotto, Omanite, Blastoise, Dragonair, Zapdos. Pidgeotto, Omanite, Blastoise, Dragonair, Zapdos. All in lowest box. Change boxes. Deposit Tano 7. Deposit Secret Key. Use the center. Is Pidgeotto still asleep? Okay, that's the menu. Deposit everything. Magneton, Radicate, Ditto. Something else. Oop, box four. Pidgeotto. Muck is my reference. I hope that was all five. Secret key. TMS7. <gasps> PGA to MMA. I'm missing Blastoise somehow. It's because I named Zapdos B. That was a mistake, kind of. I deposited. I thought I deposited Tentacruel last. That cost like 10 seconds, that wasn't that big a deal. That was a dumb mistake though. Yeah, I should count how many I withdraw there. Not try to remember which Pokemon I've withdrawn. I still swapped the lead, I hope. No, I don't have Electrode. I will never have Electrode at this point. It's not worth trying to catch it. Too risky. Did I really just go to the wrong house? Dude, fuck Gen 2 runs. Kia the Rando ruined me.
I already put X-Ax up. I need to teach Mimic. Pidgeot though. Slot three. Terrifying segment, here we go. Okay, wish me luck. This is like one of the scariest segments left in the run. The next two splits are terrifying. That's the perfect turn. If you miss the range, you get Leer miss. Worst case scenario. Good damage, please. Good. Good job, Pidgeotto. Survive the first one. I hope it's this one. I don't know why I think this is the wrong fate. This is the right one. One Pokemon? Yeah, this is correct. Perfect. Annoying. That's actually gonna cost me a super potion. Wow, that's two super potions I have to use now. Unlucky. You have to super emanate, which is not common. I probably should have water guns for safety. Two super potions for Giovanni's gym. I should have bought four, but you can't know. You can't know that you're gonna get four turn Fury Swiped. It's like one in four to happen. Well, one in four to get the bad move, basically. Karate Chop would not have done enough to warrant a heal. Because Crit Karate Chop would have done less damage. I can still survive this. Perfect. Wow. Did you have to, like, end the fuck? Yeah, I am doing these fights for the experience, not because I need to do them. All right, it's time. This dude, here we go. Come on, buddy. Meditate, X attack. So many options. Come on. Just don't do it. He did not do it, thank God. I'm gonna lose time compared to PB because PB does not evolve the four water stand Pokemon. No, um, Omanite, 
Omnite has ridiculous special attack. And Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan have trash special defense in Gen 1. They're weaker. Like, I would do more damage to a Hitmonchan than a Caterpie with Sir. Caterpie is bulkier on that uh, on the special side. And we're talking literally Caterpie. Yeah, Sir from Omanite is stronger than Sir from Blastoise. Omanite has more special than Blastoise. It's 90 versus 83. That's why Omanite is so good for the run. Yeah, this is just time loss for the evolutions. Perfect turn one. Imagine having a perfect Sabrina. <laughs> Well, perfect Sabrina is you get Psychic on turn 2 and it doesn't crit and you get Red Bar, but I would much rather just win. Okay, my XP short on Omastar is 3,148. Yeah, you can do... You can pick the other selections. Oh my god. Uh, but they're all slower. The only choice that's, like, reasonable to pick the other one of would be the Hitmon, but it, it's literally just time loss. You have to just walk two extra tiles. Wait, why am I at this PC, man? That is not what I'm doing. Pretty good emanate for this segment. So hopefully that helps me out a bit. The issue is not Giovanni Italian. That is not the threat. There are two threats in this location. Here we go. Attempt number one. There's a lot at play on this fight. They are 1 in 5 to pick a very annoying move. You are 1 in 5 to get trolled on this fight. It's also a speed tie. That is perfectly fine. Good. No longer a speed tie. I now outspeed. This is a damage range. It would help to kill, but not. Yeah, that's actually interesting getting leered. So that leer gives me a slightly higher chance to one shot this Macho. I'm not going to, but it gives me a chance. Okay, perfect. What an actually perfect fight. I took seven damage. I've lost more than one run to that fight. Giovanni is scary, it's just not as scary. They have low kick 
Prankster. Which is a hundred power against you. It does a shitload of damage. It does like more than half. I got the God Fight. Let's go. That's actually so helpful on the 35 tentacle route. How much XP is that? 1200. So I got an extra 600 XP. I get 38 now for the next fight. That's so good. You're 25% to get X attack on that fight, and then you kill the Dug Tree on one turn. They can X attack, IB. So there's five options. I missed both Machop ranges and got Seismic, which is the worst case scenario here. Okay, that was the worst case scenario. I'm now one in five to die to the Machoke. Come on, big guy. Perfect. There's times, man. There's times where that's okay. The Gen 1 misses this run have been not optimal, let me tell ya. They have been pretty bad. Alright, we're back to neutral XP. We are pretty much exactly back to normal. Oh, it's as if I didn't get the X attack, right? Not gonna lie, kinda stupid. That was roughly 1 in 2,000 for that to happen. Because the only way I died there was Gen 1 miss into low kick into hitting low kick. It was 1 in 5 to low kick. 1 in 256 to Gen 1 mess. I don't know how much time loss there is over PB. There's some. Yeah, that was a that was a weird fight. That's not typical. I don't know what my XP to go is, is the problem. I'm gonna have to improvise in um in the next segment. Alright, can you please get the Nidoking range? I'm like kinda desperate now. That, that helps. There's a part of me that wants to just candy the Emanate. I think it's actually correct to just candy it, but... Um, I'm gonna not candy it and just try and adapt. I don't know. Alright, PB dies to Giovanni, so I can save some time here with some luck. Which would be very nice because I've already lost my revive because I got fucking Gen 1 miss into low kick on a guaranteed win. I'm doing speeds first, I'm gonna play this safe. That's a perfect turn one. Eight. Perfect. Do it. Good. Good Giovanni. Didn't even have to heal. Zen's just having two free turns. I got guard spec and horn drill. I just had two free turns. I 
fight the trainer and then fight a wild or two. That's viable. Water gun on it says. I can't believe I'm still saving time on this segment, but I guess, like, the fights were fast. I just had the death, and I split XP. Like, that doesn't make a lot of sense, that's a gold split, but... Like, all the fights were fast, because I have a really good emanate. It's just I had to Gen 1 Mist, then Revive, then... Uh, no, I didn't even heal. So it was just Gen 1 Mist plus Revive, yeah. Like, the fights were really good. I just have no Revive now for Victory Road, which is not good. I'm actually gonna center. I need the Emanate strong for Fira. I think this is worth the 15 second. I don't know what my ball count is. Forty-six. 56, okay. Trust. 94.2. I can buy two revives. Perfect, thank you. Full HP, that's so good. No mirror move either, or no agility. If it agilities, then you get into a speed battle, and you have to ice beam. So it's only 50% to have a good turn there. Revive for Haunter. Play smart. I think I still have one Super Potion. Okay, here's Poliwag. Fifty percent for Poliwag. I think I didn't switch it to the lead. Good. I hit the 50-50, that's nice. Okay. I'm gonna hard switch to Ghost. I don't wanna crit, wrap, and kill. So this just makes this guaranteed second snake shade. Switch Haunter the lead. There's actually an optimal way that I can do that. Yeah, 
do this kind of weird for this next segment. This is optimal, though. Because I still have to do the swap. Since I forgot to do it there, I should do it here. I want the Max Ether. I should probably grab it for safety. Okay, here's where I swap. Alright, it is time for another round of fishing. I need to get three different 25%. There are three separate 25% I need to get here. The only Pokemon I don't need is Kingler. But Kingler would save a rare candy, which would be really nice. Okay, the problem with Seedra is it has smoke screen. Yup. Glad I picked it up now. I should probably get Zapdos, right? Never mind. Easy. Two to go. I need Slowbro and I need Sea King. That is all I still need. Need two Mons left. It's now 50 50 to get one of the crucial Mons and 75% to get something useful, and I failed the 75%. So it's 75% useful. 50% required. One in 16 to get trolled. Yeah, Nightshade is fixed damage. It also can't crit. Good. Okay. One to go. Annoying. Thank you. One more turn, please. I should probably hard switch to zap this and just play for paralysis. I don't want to take damage on Haunter because I've already lost my revive. Damn it, Thunder Wave. You piece of shit, man. Whatever. You know what? Hey, it knew it just wanted to get in. And it didn't want to be paralyzed when they got in. So whatever. I only need seeking. Seeking is literally the last thing I need from fishing. I believe this is the last fish in the entire run. It's also still 50/50 to be useful because I don't have Kingler. Yes, dude. Not fishing today. Oh, I was not fishing, man. That's annoying, but I can deal with it. I need to be a lot more cautious than that. This is just Zapdos. Um, yeah, this is just definitely Zapdos. Thunder wave. Well, 
down. I know the ball is only shaking once, but it is actually above 30%. There's another weird, uh, the game is not properly displaying the catch rate. It is 33% to get in, but the game thinks it's 28% It's of rounding. So I'm actually more likely to get it than the game is showing, which is actually interesting because it technically saves time. Because if it is going to break out, it's better to see one shake instead of two. Alright, we're done with fishing. No Kingler. There's another rare candy gone. This is going to be the lowest endgame rare candies I've like ever had in a run. I have to play endgame really safe. I need to lead Zapdos here, I think. Actually, I should sack you. That's so good. Holy shit. That's gonna save me repels later. Okay, I can be a lot more aggressive on my repels. Nice. These are really hard to get Pokemon later. Please just hit your Nightshades. I do have the Max Ether for Nightshade later. It's so annoying. Come on, one more. You don't need the Hypnosis, but it is smart to go for. Good. It's like one of the more awkward Pokemon to get. It's a 5% in Mewtwo Cave. That's the only other spot to get it. I don't need Firo. I only need Ditto. I need Ditto. Ditto is required. Doduo is good. I don't even know what my switching is, though. That's a great catch, though. Sand Slash is excellent. Sand Shrew is actually still required. Not here, but I can get it like somewhere else, too. Okay, well, here it is. I'm confident that this lives a strength. It's fine, I'll get it later. That's annoying, though. I thought about switching out and nightshading, but Sand Attack is really annoying to deal with, too. Immediate should be close to what I need. Please be either Ditto or Firo. That's actually fine. It was kind of unlikely. I'm still confident that this lives. Thank you. Okay, well the most likely thing on the route is Ditto, and I have not seen it yet. I got the two rarest. Slot 2 is ditto, slot 5 is ditto, slot 8 is ditto. I need to hit any of those. 35%. That's good. Okay. I need to use specifically Water Gun here because I need to make sure that if it goes for Mirror Move, it's Mirror Moving a bad move, not a good move. Fero is scary to catch. That's a good miss. That's a really good miss. So if it mirror moves, it goes for Water Gun now. This is where I expect to lose Blastoise, except I'm dodging everything. It's also not mirror moving, which is typically what I feel like it does. That was a great Fira. I still need Ditto. It's literally the most common thing on the route. And I don't have it yet. Ditto's required here, by the way. I can't leave without it. Thank god. Okay. 
What's my best Mon for this? Who has normal moves? Oh man. I think it's this. I have a full restore if I'm desperate. This is a little sketch, but I think this is correct. I'm gonna have to super. I may as well throw one for the meme, right? I should probably have just supered there. That's annoying. That's instant. Of course. I should maybe super consider supering. is like so scary okay this is in the 20 percent like 24 come on this is very scary I didn't get it earlier, so I had to force it here. It's really scary to force it there. That was a very good segment. I'm gonna lose a lot of time, but that went pretty well. I need to put Zapdos in the lead. He's out there in the lead in case I get Geo, dude. Or Onyx. Both of these are required to have Zapdos. No, I caught literally nothing there in PB. Actually, zero Pokemon there. Okay, I have to sit here with Zapdos until this thing uses Rage. Once it uses Rage, I can switch. Thanks, nice double crit. That helps. So it is good to throw balls, but it's not going to get in most likely. But when it uses Rage, I can hard switch. Surprise it hasn't used it by now. Both of these, this, I caught it, nice, okay. Didn't even have to switch, that's helpful. That's all I need, right? I believe that's it. Machop, Machoke, Geodude, Onyx. Yeah, that's it. And obviously Moltres. Geodude's the scariest of all of them. I should be leading Omastar now, right? It's not the craziest idea. I have to wait till I get Geodude, though. After Geodude, I lead Emistar. Because I, ne I need to kill two Onyxes because of the death. Yes, that's like the scariest mod in the segment. It's a 5%. It's very hard to go for. I have to max ether already, damn. How many hypnosis is? Okay. Yeah, I picked Nightshade for sure. Nightshade. That's below a third, I'm fine. Chop. They are the most common Pokemon in the area. It's all I still need, the two commons. Technically Onyx is the most common. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. Scary catch. The correct play is Drill Pack turn one. 
25% to troll. Beautiful. We're good. That's the new Geodude strat. You don't have to deal with Haunting. You don't have to risk getting Rock Throat anymore. You Drill Peck, and if it doesn't boom, it gets in. And if you don't crit, you can crit the Geodude too. Okay, now it's optimal to lead Omanite. Because I still need to kill Onyxes. And I centered, which is perfect. Oh my god, and I get this. I can just repel. Oh, where's Horn Attack? Oh, this has low kick. Um, I'm actually gonna switch to the ghost. I don't want to take a ton of damage on Emanate before I get my KOs. Let's just lick. I don't know how much Nightshade would do there. Okay, we're done catching here. Totally done. Other than Moltres. I need to get level 40 on Amistar and catch Moltres and we're done. That's all we have left for Victory Red. Uh, this is Repel, that's what I'm trying to do. That's crazy how fast I got everything. Like, already being done is kind of nutty. This is a really weird Pokemon to get. It is better to just go Water Gun. If it lives and doesn't boom, I Ultra Ball. Okay, that's fine. That's 700 XP. I need to be leading Ghastly to catch that. Which would save me a candy, but... It's so hard to be in a position to catch that. I am already leading him, sir. It's another interesting fight. The Persian is kind of the threat here. It's just the only way it kills you is just destroying you with crits. And it did not destroy me with crits, so we're fine. That's an interesting payday. That's just free money. That's like a decent amount too. I think that's like 200. That's just money I did not expect to get. Okay, then it's text box here. I think it's like 200 money. Good. Oh, the graveler was enough XP. Let's go. I didn't think it would be enough with just one mon. Sick. Yeah, there's Amistar. Didn't even need to grind two encounters, it was just one. So he just goes after us to lead and go now. Yeah, it was only 88, I thought it was 200. I thought it was five times its level, not two times. I don't know this game that well, or at least some of the mechanics. Strength. Yeah, they buff, they buff it in later gens, I guess, but in gen 1, it's only 2x. I think it's 5x in gen 2. I would swag holder, but I think I literally have, like, exactly enough steps to make it, so... I'm gonna repel. I wouldn't repel here if I didn't have Sand Slash, but I don't have to use repels on Sand Slash later, so. I think it's fine to use that repel. Super potions?
Here we go. Another scary catch. Alright, if you haven't seen the strat before, it's kind of interesting. Not super interesting, but kind of. Five turn. Just not five turn. Thank you. I actually get to red bar now, which is kind of nice. So this is 11% per ball. Whenever it wakes up, I just put it right back to sleep. No point damaging, because if I get it to 1 HP, instead of it being 11%, it'll be 12 and a half. It's not worth the effort. Yeah, this feels like Snorlax all over again. Okay, that was pretty reasonable. To be a good split. I'm still repelled. Accuracy works with every move in the game. Once you use it, you can't miss. The game just no longer checks for any accuracy. You hit every move. No, there's no Gen 1 miss after an exact. It removes the entire concept of accuracy. That was a really good V red. Really, really good V red. Deposit Pidgeot, Amistar, Withdraw Flute. Conquer to lead. Dragon in two. Teach. TM 47. Two Haunter. Over Confuse Ray. Use the center. Pay attention here. TM of five. I need one. <sighs> Always play solid. I taught. Shade. Explode. Am 
I'm always so nervous here. Because it's so easy to mess things up and lose the entire run. Like, if you X speed there, the run is over. If you agility there, the run is over. There's just, like, so many little things that can kill the run in this segment. It's very scary. Like, just a tiny menu mistake, you just get Aurora Beamed and die from Fool. Sunny Drowsy. Articuna Mewtwo. I'm doing pretty good on the catches, honestly. I have a lot of little stuff already done. I'm Zero Special. This fight's like kind of a little bit scary. Okay, pay attention to second onyx. Don't be in crit range. Do not be in crit range. This next Onyx is 21% to survive. It's only because I level up on the Hitmonlee. Oh, I think it dies because I didn't get the level. Why did I not get the level there? Oh, it lived. Okay, well there's the 21%. 92. I need to elixir before Lance. 92 is really good HP. Yeah, 94 is really good. That's 14. That Nursor. Okay, I don't think there's any other mods I throw a ball at on that list. I mean, Golduck, Kingler, and Dugong are all like 4%. Okay. Elixir on D save. Alright, this is like one of the scariest fights in the run that's still left. Zap Agatha. It's better than Tauros Agatha, let me tell ya. I'm glad we aren't doing that shit anymore. That was good to rob out. Speed. That's annoying. That is why we withdraw the Pokey Flute. I've had people ask me why we take the flute back out. This is why. It's not common, but it does happen. Pro pack. That's a nasty crit. I'm gonna have to full restore on the Haunter. I took a lot of damage. Please just no haze. Please just don't do it. Great crit again. That's amazing. I have to full restore here though. I'm gonna super and try to scam a Nightshade. Interesting. Good. That was perfect. Yeah, that was so much better than full restoring. I had to get rid of the super potion by the end of the E4 no matter what. And that just got, um... That got rid of it and put me outside of Nightshade range. That's a great screech. This is favorable to die now. With two badge boosts. 
Oh, two badge boosts, the Gengar's favorable as well. Another crit. Easy game. That was a good Agatha, honestly. That was really good. That fight does not often go well. Alright, attention, dumbass. You have already used the elixir. Already used it. Use it before the fight. You the lead. I outspeed Aerodactyl. 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 I'm calculating if I do. I'm almost positive I do. I'm terrified I'm gonna save. It's eight seconds to save. I'm confident that I outspeed Aerodactyl. I just don't have the. I don't have a good four store to use. Like I don't have a good timing. I'm so confident I outspeed. But if I'm wrong, the run would be over. I'd be back before Agatha, which would be like five to ten minutes almost. Accuracy. I hope I'm right. I should be. Agility. There's no way I don't outspeed, right? Seven. It's 170, I outspeed. Good math. Four star D, elixir D, and the champ. Or D. I have to save too. Elixir D. Save. PB dies. I'm almost positive. PB gets turn one sky attack. 75% chance to win against champion. It's literally a 75%. I need turn one wing attack. Mirror move, or... I don't even know what the other move is. Just anything but sky attack, man. Come on. Yes! Just don't double crit. Okay. I win. <sighs> you die to sky attack? Or double crit wing attack. That's the only way to die. You live wing attack, uh, crit wing attack. That's my first run that I haven't died to champion since I came back to the category. I died four times in a row. Four times in a row I've gotten sky attack turn one. So fifth time's a charm on that. I'm going to the bathroom during the credits. I'm going to drop my webcam so I don't, you know. I have nearly forgotten to tie my pants before running back. And my pants like kind of fell down when I was halfway back. I don't want to yeah, be embarrassed on stream or anything. <laughs> That's why I always close my webcam when I run to the bathroom <laughs> during credits. This was years ago. This wasn't like recent. This was back in like 2016. I like ran to the bathroom and like ran back and my pants like half fell down. I mean people have been in their boxers on stream before. It wouldn't be the first time someone's been in boxers on stream. I just, you know, I'd rather not. Alright,
I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four. Interesting. I heard someone else say it was a funny joke, so I took it. <laughs> All right, be right back. I literally said muted one sec and forgot that that means you guys can't hear me, so. Um, yeah, I split on the end, is usually when I split. Should we box two? I need Venonat. I think they're in here. Raichu. They're in box three. It's fine. Evolutions, evolutions, I mismarked. 
That's a candy, that's a candy, that's a candy, that's a candy, that's a candy. Five candies. I think I only have four. Because I didn't get King Learn, I kind of counted on it. There's no, there's no other option. I could do the strat for Graveler. The strat kind of sucks ass, though. I'll see if I get five candies or not. Because I'm not sure if I'll get five. I think my gold split just splits at, like, splits before the credits, because I probably used to just split back then. I think I split on champion at, like, at some point. I started just splitting on the end, because it was easier for the bathroom break. Her at full HP. Do the new strat, not the old. New strat, good. Old strat, bad. Old strat, stupid and dumb and lame. That's rough, great ass. Why do you gotta do that to my boy Woody? Five percent, by the way. It's immediate. Is this immediate? No, it's not. That's close. Nice. I got one. Side up to go. This is ice beam, and then wrap. I can't go for ice beam here because crit does kill. Gen 1 crits are really weird. They double your level, not your damage. So it's risky to go for it there because doubling my damage would kill. Or doubling my level would kill, even though doubling my damage wouldn't. You strength. I picked up the max elixir. All I need is Krabby and 33 Duck, and I'm out of here. Krabby and 33 Duck. 31 Seal, it's better not to push the boulder here. I hope I talked that right, that would be sick. Damn, is this the 33 Seal? I played so good, damn. I got the encounter too early, barely. Fuck it. It's close. 33 side up, come on. That's fine. I do need one of these eventually. I can just go straight to Articuna now. I don't want to risk a crit. Crit kills. 
Cool. Map punish. I did mark seal, which I already am. Please be 33. Figured. Quick encounter, come on. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. It's too slow. 31 seal, probably. Not quite instant, but close to instant. It's like, okay, it's probably 31 seal again. Please, 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 please. Thank God. Okay. This segment's terrifying. You can get, like, memed out of your mind by Psyduck Seal. Because they're both really rare. But you need the high level encounters because you need to candy them once and have them evolve. Good start. That's everything, I think. The Pakuna. Dugong one time. Imagine, right? It's not worth repelling, obviously, for three steps, so you just don't. G to the lead. Save. Okay, this is a very, very weird encounter. Um, there is a chance for Haunter to live both moves. It does not always die to Ice Beam. It does not always die to Peck. If I survive the move and get off a of Hypnosis, I have a good chance of catching this. There's a chance I live. It's very small. Okay, that's fine. We just go zap this and paralyze. So the new play is we go zap this, we paralyze, and we just chuck Ultra Balls and hit for the best. These are 11% to catch per Ultra. If you're wondering, no, it is not worth it to damage. Okay, we now chuck Pokeballs until my team wipes. These are 6% to catch now. I don't think I have enough balls for this run. Seems really low. I have a lot of the annoying catches done at least. catches to go. I just reset as soon as I miss. I'm just gonna reset now. You're more likely to catch it than not. So a bit unlucky. Hello? Still got to skip, it just... I don't know what the hell that was. Okay, once again, you're hoping for Peck. You're significantly more likely to live Peck. Good. That's a very high roll. Perfect. 20% per ball now. Now. 
Alright, I'm getting really unlucky on Articuno. This is really bad luck. I've caught it like twice on average now. If I had average luck, I would have caught it twice. You'd have to use 2x speeds, I think. There's like a reason why it's not worth it. I forget what the reason is. I remember thinking about it. Okay. Well, this would have been a really good sea foam, but Articuno is like horrible. This is like significantly worse than average. I've thrown three Ultra Balls at 20% each. I've probably thrown like 15 Pokeballs at 7%. And I've thrown, I think two Ultra, or yeah, like eight Ultra, okay, there it is, fucking finally. Busy calculating how unlucky I am. Didn't lose time, that's what matters. Okay, not a terrible segment. Do I trust my ball count? I've got quite a bit to catch in there, right? Magneton... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two. Yeah, I think it's better. Grab balls. Three, five's a tad low. How about 15? I think I can adapt if I buy 15. Any more I can't adapt. I think I can survive this run. Oh, good night, Ivy. Take care. <sighs> all trades. Those are all trades. Those are both evolutions. Those are my five candies. I need to check how many candies I have the next time I scroll. But I will need to know. Incredibly scary section. I already have you. Porygon's 130,000, Prankster. I'll have two nuggets and a max revive to sell. There's Hypno. Thunder Wave Drill Pack. Under shock, I guess. I could just ball. I should get Moltres and Fire Spin. Oh, thank God. That's such a good start. Moltres Fire Spin was actually optimal. But I got lucky. That was 23% instead of 28. So I should have swapped and hit. Because my ball count's a bit low. Okay, I might have to sell full restores and then buy them later. That's always an option. Yeah, we don't use any vitamins. We pick them up and sell them. We get quite a few. Mewtwo is actually the easiest of the legendary. Well, it's easier than Articuno. Articuno is the scariest. Okay, that's an interesting one. Just please rage. Just please use rage. 
rage. That's fine, just slow. Perfect, I can go Haunter now. So once, one, like, there's a couple Pokemon in the run we have to catch that have Rage. Once they use it, they are stuck using Rage forever. So this Dodrio literally has to use Rage until it dies or the fight ends. So we just have to wait till it uses it, and then we can hard switch in Haunter. And we can get a nice, perfect catch on it. Yeah. All, like, the three legendary birds start with two moves. It's really silly. They all start with Peck, except Zapdos gets Drill Peck, and then they all start with a decent... Well, they all start with a stab move, like, of their type. Articuno gets Ice Beam, Zapdos gets Thunder Shock, and Moltres gets Fire Spin. So they all kind of suck when you catch one. It is really funny, but... Okay, Dodrio is scary, so that's a good one to get down. What do I still have left here? Magneton and Golbat for this floor. I didn't pick this up. Oh my god. I thought I picked that up before the Dodrio. That would have been super bad. Minus a candy. Nice double 5% Sand Slash. That's kind of hype. Quick encounter, please. Good, that might be fast enough for Golbat. Too fast, actually. Well, we're going for Magneton now. Could get Venomoth. Golbat, please. I should actually wait until I'm through. I don't actually need you. No, you're done. It's time for the threat. We need Kadabra here. Kadabra Venomoth. I'm incredibly likely to get one of them from this. Almost guaranteed to get one here. Or I'll get no encounters all the way to the Ultra Ball and I won't get either. That could be Chansey potentially. Oh, or the rare Marowak. Okay. So Marowak is one of the scariest mods to catch because it has Thrash. And it will get confused at the end of that. And we also can't paralyze it, and we can't risk putting it to sleep with Haunter because that's Bone Meringue. So, wow, first ball. Good catch. This is going pretty well. I'm getting some good catches. I did not need to buy extra Pokeballs, most likely with how these catches have been going. I should save for Kadabra, because it can actually kill the run. It's worth a save. There's my Ditto. I guess you don't need to force Ditto, because you can get it here and then just adapt later. Maybe I should stop forcing Ditto. That's a 1%, by the way. So it's unlikely, but maybe it is better to not force it. All right. Here's this thing. So you get Thundershock turn one, because it has a chance of paralyzing. Judge the damage, that is Thundershock again. And then Thunder Wave. Oh, or just get the free para, let's go. Dude, what is my catch luck right now? I'm actually just getting everything. Last run it took me I like 47 or 48 balls to get my first four catches. This run I've used like six. This is slot. That's there. That's probably Dodry. I shouldn't have done that. Did I really just get two 1% Dittos? Oh no, that's the 4% one. Don't be Dodry, please. Dang. You run. Quick encounter, but not instant. 
too slow. It's gonna be Dodrio again. Okay, Venomoth. I forgot I already end this, by the way. It just slipped my mind. Sub six is not possible uh, with like any reasonable amount of luck. Sub six thirty is like really hard. That's what I'm going for now. Skarmory. Thanks, LP. Okay, please give me the quick encounter. I would get either Rhydon or Kadabra. Both are good. Quick encounter, please. Good. Please be Kadabra. That's fine too. I still need this. I would just much prefer Kadabra. This is a Haunter Cheese. I think I'm out of Nightshade Mons. This is the last one, right? Oh, I have Golbat so I can Nightshade. It is actually worth using one more, so that gets me an extra 5%. Okay, the only Pokemon I still have left to catch here are Kadabra Chansey, right? Kadabra Chansey Mewtwo and Magneton. So I should go for Magneton first. Magneton first makes more sense. Nice. My catches are insane. Yeah, I get Magneton first because I have a chance of going for Kadabra on that floor. And then I switch to this floor after I get Magneton. That's the correct play. So there's low odds of Kadabra here. Another 5%. All of these Sand Slashes were 50-50s for Kadabra, basically. Don't troll me. Good. I have Magneton to go for as well. This is Fire Spin. Annoying. I'll snap eventually, it's not that big a deal. Bear! Thanks again, LP. Annoying, okay. Annoying, okay. Nice crit. I do want to hit one more. Into guaranteed. Should be 40%, I think. First ball everything. Why did I buy more balls? Magneton, Kadabra, Chansey Mewtwo. That is it. Mag, Kadab, Chansey Mewtwo. And we're out of here. Nice! I got Kadabra. That's the scariest one I had left. For the D-Sum and the catch. Uh, this thing's a giant fucking threat. Um, it has Recover, which is really painful, and... Nice crit. It has Light Screen, and it has Psychic. This thing is just a garbage catch. And it crit my Zapdos. Okay, Zapdos down. This is Moltres Fire Spin. Just be careful I don't wipe, I have two revives. <gasps> I thought my uh, accuracies were there, I thought I almost used one back, like, accident. That's so annoying. I got one turn Fire Spin into Recover, which is really low odds. Classic, I can peck now. That's a crit. Yep, that's why you have to wait. That is calculated. It is possible to die. That's why you have to wait till it's full to peck. You don't want to risk a crit when it's at like 75%. I think I revived Zapdos. It's really safe. 
Yeah, this is correct. I have Zapdos for this. All right, I just need Magneton and Chansey, and we're out. Magneton is 15%, Chansey is 10. Two months to go, and then we have Mewtwo at the end. A little early. Two or one. I'm gonna do two. Please, that's close. Thank you. <sighs> one to go. You can Thunder Wave electric types in this game, which is epic. Speaking of. Zapdos might die here. I'm fine with Zapdos dying now. It's done its job. That's a great crit. I don't want to burn a full heal on, or a full restore on Zapdos. I can go Articuno lead for basement. I need to see how many candies I have still. Because I need to decide if I need to do the uh, backup. Wait. I have Persian marked as a candy. I'm fine. I'm not candying you. Know? I don't know why I marked that as a candy. That is not a candy mom. None of those are candies. This is looking like how most catches go here. Okay, not that. The first part where it wasn't getting in. I'm gonna four store the Zapdos. I think I have an extra. Oh, what the fuck? I have six? I didn't heal at all. I healed one time in the first E4. What? On average, you have three. That's the only thing I didn't want to see. That sucks. Let me run, though. Okay, the hardest part about this segment is I'm going for Chansey, which is right by Electrode. So it's really hard to de sum for. That could be Chansey. <sighs> you just have to get in, dude. It's time to deploy the strat. Just needs to get in. This is the last catch outside the Mewtwo. Okay, if you haven't seen the strap before, it's called 10%. This is optimal. There's the pain. It's fine, I can always paralyze it later with Zapdos if things go horribly wrong here. Pokemon. I was waiting till I die. Well, I was waiting till I get Red Bar, rather. Okay. These are gonna be hard to hit Hypnosis's, but I'll probably hit one eventually. I need to save a few from you two, though. I need to save like three from you two. If I run out, I switch to Zapdos and go for T Waves. I 
season. It's, I think, 16% per ball right now. I'm pretty sure it's 16%. Should wake up here. Oh, one more. Nice. I think that's seven already, though. Wow, I got max sleep turns. That's helpful. Five hypnosis is left, I'm gonna go paralyze that. Yeah, this is looking like a pretty typical chancy. This is miserable, like always. Okay, now I need to hit one of these, and then I wanna hit a surf or, or I wanna hit like a move to damage it a bit more. I need a little bit more damage. There we go. I'm gonna go for Thundershock for damage. And I'll switch back to Ghastly once I land. I just need the tiniest bit more chip. Yeah, this thing wouldn't be a pain if it didn't have double team. It's like really annoying. Or minimize. Good crit. Uh... So much damage. Come on, buddy. Hit the T-Shock, please. Please hit the T-Shock. You have to switch mons is the problem, Kratos. There's damage. Okay. That's actually all I need. I'm gonna let Double Edge the Zapdos a couple more times, but we're good on damage. That's max rate. Okay, this is like 13%. That was a bad catch, but that's kind of expected with Chansey. That shit's annoying. Oh my god, I was here. I thought it was way farther. So we're done with every catch. The problem is this place has the highest encounter rate in the game. And I have to get all the way through the cave. I just want to see no Raichus. And the problem is Marowak Insta's Raichu, so I need to not get an encounter. Okay, we'll get Electroded probably, but that's fine. It's not Raichu. Electroded, I can deal with. I have the strat for you. Look at the levels and look at my highest level, which is what's currently out. Four catches to go. Or three. It's Mewtwo, Mewtwo Drowsy, and Raticate. I need to check, when I'm using the Ultra Balls on Mewtwo, I need to check my rare candy count. I need to know how many candies I have. That's Raichu. Okay, got lucky. Cool. Can't get Raichu off this. Yes, I'm undesumming the worst encounters, wonder. I try not to move when I'm able to get Raichu. That's actually kind of close, which sucks. At this point, I could just risk Zapdos. No, I, I want to do the backup Mewtwo strat. I didn't die to Swift, so it's still worth doing backup Mewtwo. Okay, here we go. This is the last hard catch in the run. Everything else is like kind of reasonable. Mewtwo has one move that hits Haunter. Hypnosis is 50% or 60% accurate. Good. Hit the move. Good. 
You two is now 20% to get in. Five candy. 20% per Ultra Ball. Come on. Let's go. That averages out Articuno. And Chansey. Box seven. here too I can grab this for now it should be in five then yeah this box I can just do this here So I've Haunter and I still have Nightshades, that's what matters. 29 balls is significantly more than I need. Evolve, evolve, evolve. White's evolutions. Blue is candies. I have one candy. I need Radicate, Drowsy. Those are the other two I need. I need the Flight of Vermilion for Drowsy. I did not withdraw the items I need, but it's fine because I'm going to be centering in Celadon anyway. Centering and sold on anyway. Okay, so both nuggets. I mean you sell some other stuff. What can I deal with? Yeah, I made the right call. That was good. That kept my full restore, and that gives me enough to be safe in E4. So I didn't have to buy more later. 14. Good. Not 15. It's always worth checking in this menu. 184 is amazing. Um, fly... Uh, I need to drowsy second. Yeah, I need to do Drowsy second because I need the boom to the Ekans. It's perfect. Actually, this should work. I trust. Um, no, I'll, I'll just do this normally and get Eradicate like a champ. 
I'll get Raticate first, it doesn't matter. I'm probably repelled, right? I'm probably being an idiot by being repelled. But I think I can get Raticate repelled. So I think it's level 29 here. I would also just like to end the repel. Okay, I need to use that in Me Too Cave then. Oh, what a beautiful encounter to just get first, man. Imagine just not even de summoning for Eradicate. Twenty-one balls. Forty-seven percent. I have twenty-one chances to catch it. Here we go. The run is like not over, but if I miss twenty-one consecutive coin flips, then uh, I'm in trouble. Okay, cool. I hit the coin flip. Would have been in really bad shape if I missed 21 coin flips there. <sighs> Slow bro. The only RNG left in the run is Drowsy. It's a 20% encounter. It's the last of the RNG. All my candies are in box six. I boom with Haunter to get... Boom with Haunter evolves. That's more than 184 for, for Ekans guy. That's more than 184. I can't do it on a wild. I have to do it on Ekans guy. So I have to wait until I get Drowsy to get the XP on Gera. And that lets me get level 19 easily, or level 20 easily with Meow. I then have to think, it's just free. Yes, not, not play the slots. I have the money to just buy all the coins. Slots are slow. Even if you win, like, even if you win, like, half the time, it's not worth it. Okay, the only encounter left in the run is Drowsy. I would prefer any level but 9. Level 9 Drowsy is a pain. It's 1 in 8 to die to Nightshade if I get level 9. And it's worth risking it. Fifteen Spiro. Well, this is free for level 9 Drowsy. That should be level 9 Drowsy, just don't want an 8 me if it is. Wow, 13 in between the two Drowsies? Yep. Miss Drowsy by... If that was 10 frames later or earlier, it was Drowsy. Unlucky. That could be 9 Drowsy. That's why I kept looking. That is the 12. I missed Drowsy by 20 to 30 frames again. Or 1 to 30, I guess. That again could be the 9 Drowsy. Unlucky. I once again missed by 1 to 30 frames. That's close again. And that is once again directly between both drowsies. Once again, close. That is once again directly between both of the drowsies. This is once again close. That is early. Immediate, please. Come on. This is, like, very likely. That's almost impossible. I think that has to be frame perfect. I think you have one frame of leniency on that. Okay, dude. Like, you just gotta give me one reason one counter. Like, this is getting really annoying. This happens, like, every good run. Oh my god. I've gone, like, 300 steps with no encounter, by the way. Like, come on. 25%. Thank you. 
That's the nine, unfortunately. Oh, I got lucky. Like, I guaranteed the lift. I thought that was the nine. Okay, at least it's over. Swap Magikarp to the lead. Explode on Ekans guy. Swap Carp to lead. Explode. No more RNG in the run. So what this does is... I can skip evolving Gara later, which is really helpful. Because normally Gyarados is kind of annoying. Because you just have to throw it into the E4 somewhere. If I took another 100 steps, I wouldn't be able to do this. Annoying. That's the only thing that trolls you here. Uh, explode. Skills the Ekans and the Haunter. I get full XP on the Gara, which now evolves. Not the best cleanup, but not the worst. There's a lot of adapting during the cleanup segment. I'm gonna lose time, because I still have other shit that I need to do. Withdraw all the shit I need. Do the items first. I will forget if I didn't do this first. 24. Coin. 36. Air is done. Um, wall is done. It's done. Grab all three of these in candy. Psyduck, Krabby Seal. PB does not have Gyarados. Nice, that's a free Mon. I'm up by a Mon then. Oh yeah, I got Stomp Krabby, that's fitting. Okay, cool, I'm Gyarados ahead and a level on Meowth. That's my lead right now. One level Gara. Plus Meowth. Did I, what, did I get TM36 out? Okay, I deposit all three of these. I withdraw Mewtwo. I change the box one. I withdraw both bugs. Okay, I have one candy. One candy for Dragon. That's it. That's the level 50. Always Dragonite last. It will never not be last. Actually, there's a situation where it could be Persian last just because of the order that they evolve in. It's not likely. You two. What the fuck is in that last box? Okay, that box nine confuses me. Thirty six to Mewtwo. two. to Mewtwo. Seven the Pony.
it all comes down to E4. Good E4, this is sub 630. All comes down to E4. Whole run. I'm level 19 on the Alp. I just need to get level 20. I can do that for free. I sack, I go Meowth on Hitmonchan, I boom with Mewtwo. Is that enough XP to hit 20? Oh, it's definitely enough XP. I need to go back in my VOD. Can someone go back in my VOD when I caught the Mewtwo when I'm scrolling down and tell me how many X accuracies I still have? It should, I, I think I need 10. It should be 10. I can't lose any. I think I have exactly enough. I use two for Ponyta, four for the final trip, and then I have four X accuracies to get to level 50 on Dragonair. So I can't lose any, so I do have to do... I have to either save for the crit, or I need to YOLO. Or not YOLO, I need to Haunter anti-YOLO. I'll Haunter anti-YOLO. Why didn't I catch Cocoon or Metapod early? Um, it's worth it if you get both. The problem is you don't have balls. Like, you don't have infinite Pokeballs early game. Um, and they're only, at best, 47% to catch. And you'll see how fast they are. Because I need to evolve the Rapidash anyway, and you'll see how fast what I do is for getting Rapidash. And how, like, unconsequential it is to use the other two. Confirm 10. I'm like kind of scuffed XP on Dragon. It's nice that I'm minus 8 minutes because it gives me time to lose on, uh, on Ghastly Strat. Have you seen how slow the EXP share is in Gen 1 Ref? And also, look how many Pokemon we need to evolve now. And also, you only get a quarter of the XP. So, let's say I have the XP share on and I go into Lorelei and I get a kill with my Mewtwo. Um, the Dugong lead on Lorelei gives you, I think it's 1900 experience. You would get nine, you would get 950 on Mewtwo, and then like 110 on all the other Pokemon split up, because it it gives Mewtwo half for being the one that gets the kill, and then it takes the remaining like 900 XP, divides it by six, gives 100 to Mewtwo, and then gives like 100 to everything else, and it's two text boxes per Pokemon. So look how slow each of these text boxes is. So one Pokemon, two Pokemon, whoops, three Pokemon, four Pokemon, five Pokemon. That's how long it would take to get the EXP share per Pokemon, or like per KO. Because it's two text boxes I'm on. It's like 12 seconds per KO with the EXP share in a full party. It's horrible. I've thought about doing Legends Arceus, it's just so much. 
I have to get, like, really good at the game. Like, it feels really difficult to speedrun. It seems fun. And then it's it's too slow starting out is the second problem. We couldn't do Lucky Slot Minip even if we wanted to, Bonja. Because this category uh, doesn't allow Minips. It's the most RNG aspect of this run. Um, Tauros, Kanga, and Pinsir in the Safari Zone. The big three. We get Chansey and Mewtwo Cave. Which is a big RNG dependent section, but not nearly as much as Safari. We'd also have to walk all the way here from Cerulean, and that's walking, because um, you can't pause once you get in Syntax, so we'd have to walk. So we'd have to go through the Dig Rocket house, walk all the way down. It would be faster. If, if the thing didn't go away, we would probably save time. By Porygon, man. It's the last RNG check. It's how dumb, <laughs> how dumb I am. I also need to make sure that if I fuck up, I don't like play it up for the stream. Cause like you know. What do you mean that's not the other kissy people face. just love me, damn it? And then they would fuck up. But I need to just make sure I don't do something like that. I just pay a little bit of attention. Oh, thank you, Michael. Just in time to watch a PV. Question is by how much? I mean, with a zone like this and the quality of play, like, there was no way I wasn't PBing this run. I did not choke pincer or anything. Yeah, that is rough. That's the one who does all the funny edits at the start of the videos. That's a tough argument to ask. Starmie might be made out of like a fleshy material. Magnemite is metal. Would be faster with the task to YOLO 7 7 slots. They would YOLO some slots, they would buy a lot of coins. It depends on how much money they need for other stuff in the task. Do you think there are more doors or wheels in the world? More doors. Because you would count car doors, right? So an average car has more door, or the same amount of doors as wheels. Oh wait, trucks ruin that. Because trucks have a lot of wheels. Hmm. I still think I would go doors, but it's a lot closer. Oh, okay, I mean, if we're talking about stuff like steering wheels and, like, gears and stuff, I'd be on... I'd probably think wheels. That's a hard question. You count toy doors. Yeah, it depends on, like, what we count. Lego wheels might turn the tide. 
Dude, there's some of these adamant on doors and they're just buying Hot Wheels and burning them. They have a pit behind their house that used to be like a swimming pool and they filled it with gasoline and Hot Wheels. <laughs> Tell me it's doors one more time. <laughs> Scariest part of the run. Purchase Porygon. Buy Porygon. You fly here. I think they usually split when they enter, but whatever. Deposit ducks. Metapod the lead. Center. Have I ever not bought Porygon? No, I've never made that mistake. I'm terrified literally every single run that makes it this far. I've never not been terrified. Double check because this is a good run. And I already taught. Whew. Okay, for the person asking why I don't catch uh, Kakuna and Metapod, uh, this is the reason why. That's a bad matchup. Let's go Weedle. Actually, wait. Weasel's not going to do much. Let's go with this. H H should do some good damage. Oh, that did nothing. I'm in the boom. That should do more. Uh, I think Ponyta's good from there. This is all uh, scripted, by the way. Like, I'm just memeing and whatnot. Accuracy. Speed. Poor girl. I'm gonna play this run safe. I'm gonna check the speed on my Penita. On the uh, slow bro. I'm dead to crit water gun, which from a slow bro is a meme. But the run would end if I get crit water gun, pretty much. I do have a backup that would work. 78, that's fast enough. 120. I need 74 to outspeed. Okay, we're good. Yeah, but it's triple split strand. And they're in medium fast. Medium fast is a garbage experience curve. A Bulbasaur, Squirtle, like medium slow curve would get like 13. It's actually crazy I how bad Nexus is. trash until Gen 6. Yeah, we use Horn Drill a lot in this run. Horn Drill, very, very good move. I don't have the Meowth with me. I did make a mistake. Right? Yeah, I don't have the Meowth. It's fine. That actually doesn't matter. That It's actually faster to not have the Meowth. Wow. If I was level 17 or 18, it would have mattered. I'm not 17 or 18, though. It doesn't matter. That actually saved time. Rage is perfect. That's literally the best thing you can do. Now I can sack both of these. Nice X defend. Oh no, I missed my poison sting. 
Oh, nice axe defend. Oh no, I missed my poison sting. Wow, I just double gen one missed. Holy moly, that is so rare. I cannot believe that I had just done that. This for this, Psychic. Explode. Oh, duh. I just exploded by accident. Is this funny? I don't think it's that funny, honestly. I'm gonna stop. Bam tail whip. Okay, I guess now it can't crit me. That will technically save a text box. Okay, you already did that. 75% to die, by the way. There's one one singular move that does not kill me. Thank you. Could have been worse. Could have been four focus energies, not three. Okay, grab Meowth, which is in box two, I believe. Should be box two, always. Lapras will be on top, so don't mash A. Backup now in case things go horribly wrong on Lorelei later. Right. I need to sack something to hit Monchan. So I can't double on Onyx if I get Rage. I do have to make a sack on Chan. Thank you, Mon. I'll try better this time. My strat for uh, Lorelei went pretty good. It was just my Bruno strat was pretty bad. Like, this went pretty well last time. I'll just do the same thing. Uh, Pony. Hack. Speed. Drill. I'm saving a lot of time on this segment. Nice. Yeah, effectively, was it 370, 400 something? Explosion's 170, so it's 340 base power. They buff it to 250 later. Don't worry, will you self destruct later, Nano? Oh, wait, we already used it once, never mind. We'll use it multiple times throughout the run. Two mons to go. Persian Dragonite. I'm gonna do a quick Pokedex flash just to make sure I'm at 122. I'll do it the next time I menu. I don't wanna find out that I fucked up, you know? Boy, well, I also have to beat the game at the end, Wrath. And one of them is the slowest Pokemon in the game to evolve. Yeah, that costs like two seconds. I'm playing this run like safer than usual because, you know, on pace. Doing safe Dragonair at the end.
Have I ever forgot them on? I don't think I have. I've done it in a catch em all run before I've forgotten one. Wow, that didn't even kill, damn. This is me too. Yeah, this is enough XP. This will hit 20. So here I sack B drill so I can go me out so I can boom on Hitmon. Bro, if I poison I'm gonna lose my mind. Ca your count? Oh my god, please stop. You have three moves that kill the Beedrill, man. You have literally three moves that kill Beedrill. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have to watch poison damage too. Me too. section was going really well. It is decided to not go very well. There's 20. Perfect. This is our range. Imagine. Okay, that's good. goes the gold split. Wait. I looked wrong. This turn might still be gold. Hey, I think I gold split it. Let's go. Nice. Deposit everything. Box is Dragon Aaron. Probably seven. <sighs> Cat time and Dragon time. I have a 12.33. Damn. That's hard. That's a hard split to beat. Yes, that's intended flash. Slowest thing it can do, other than freezing you. And at five turned. Luckily, Lorelei does not have good AI, so she cannot amnesia the Slowbro. Or she has good AI, so she can't amnesia. It's like really interesting. It would matter a lot. <laughs> Some something something. Oh no, I accidentally exploded. Whoops, my bad. Something something. That's the 
slowest thing you can do, but it's the least scary. I love this part here. I'm gonna send out my meow, and then it's gonna be like, do you wanna switch to my... I don't have another one. <laughs> like, I can't. I've always found that really weird how it does that. When I die to the E4, everyone in chat, please spam the word set or shift, whichever whichever one you prefer. Set or shift when I finish here. Bam. Thank you, Alfie. Gives like two this run as well. I have to save for champion. Thank god that miss. I have to save for champ. I don't have enough accuracy. Yeah, it's not enough accuracy. God, if I ever misclicked this whole run on an X act, the run was over. I wouldn't have had enough. That's actually mind blowing. I I misclicked that so often. All right, are you guys hyped for the only damage range with Mewtwo in the entire run? This Jinx can live. It's favored to live. This is technically the only Pokemon that Mewtwo fails to kill in the entire run. Unfortunate, but we got Super Potion. Who cares? The only thing that can go wrong <laughs> is Blizzard Freeze. Like in this entire segment. Or Ice Punch Freeze from Jinx. Enough, right? When I hit twenty seven, I'm done. The champ gives twenty three ninety eight. Meowth needs twenty two sixty nine. So I only have to split Hitmonchan, and I'm done. You know, I should have split Hitmonlee, because this can para or freeze me. That was actually the only misplay I could have made. Not punished, let's go. It should be 27, I don't have to switch in, yeah, until later. We're done. Because I get 28 off of Machamp. Really, Sam? I never know this. 
Yeah, this is the best spot in the game to train for experience. Good. I count every single possible Mewtwo. This always kills. Unless you get X defend. Okay. Now it's done. One Mon to go. <sighs> I've got 20 minutes for Dragonite. Eight minutes to grind XP. That's what I have. I have eight minutes. <sighs> Come on, Agatha. Be mean. Hypnosis Dream Eater. Come on, one time. Hypnosis Dream Eater. Hypnosis Dream Eater. That's perfect. One more. I should be scratching. Scratch this faster. Almost. That's okay. Double hit self kills. Good. One more. Never mind, I don't die. I have terrible attack on my Meowth. That sucks. Dream Eater me. That was not too bad. Whew. Withdraw D. Withdraw G. gonna do? I should have horn rolls. I need to check that I have the horn rolls first. I'm in red bar Kratos, it's faster. No shot, I don't have drills. And I'm not status. I would not have allowed that. I'm good. I need to hit level 50 on Dragonair and I'm done. I'm done at level 50. Three more X accuracies to hit level 50. I'm gonna have some crazy improv at the end. I know I have one candy, I need 51 on Dragonite. This is a free 1200 as well. Three more Lorelei's is enough. I can die on the Lapras on final trip. It's faster. Unless I gen one miss on here. <gasps> um, okay, that's fine. I should spam horn drill, because if it hits it's faster. That's fine. Died immediately. Okay. Minus twelve twenty-five. Still fine. Minus 1225. 
10, 5, 4, 10, 5, 4, 10, 5, 4. That's 11 to 30. 3, 1, 5, 12. 3, 1, 5, 12. 3, 1, 5, 12. That's enough. Three more levels. 3, 1, 5, 12. Fuck do I die? Hitmonlee? It's gotta be Hitmonlee. I'll Jolly spam on Hitmonlee. I don't think I can die to Lapras. I don't think I get enough XP if I die to Lapras. If I hit 48 here, maybe. It's a tough call. Minus 26, minus 26 on 48. I die next round on Lapras, I have to die once to hit Monlay. I definitely have enough to die next round, I think. God, this is so close. This dragon just takes so fucking long sometimes. Like I mentioned earlier, this is where not getting stuff like Nidorino and Kingler and whatnot come into play. It's having to get all this extra experience on Dragon. I mean, you need to bully me, Hitmonlee. Come on. Please body me. How about a nice crit ice punch? It's gonna do nothing. Do they have 49 here? Crit me. Oh, you piece of shit. I have to die to the submission now. I, I want to take one hit here. Come on. Getting rolled. Crit me. Oh, he can't. He focused. Brother. Stop. Forty nine, right? Come on, buddy. That was okay. Yeah, focus energy prevents crits. Withdraw Mewtwo. Please give it to me on Lapras. Please give it to me before Lapras. I don't know if it's enough. Lapras is so much XP. If I get it before Lapras, I think this can do it. Candy Dragon. I just need to hit level 50. Come on. Before before <laughs> Lapras, please. Please before Lapras. Please before Lapras. Come on. This is 1800. Please be enough. This saves so much time. Good calc. I'm so glad I did that on the Hitmonlee. 
Now I can just die the Blizzard. It's so much faster than dying the Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee or whatever. Candy Dragon. Withdraw Mewtwo. Go. Mewtwo's at the bottom. Didn't nickname. Party order's fine. Go. This is so close. I have I have a four star still, I'm fine. Great work, Haunter. It's faster to X speed there. Because I have the extra. Time is when I'm in the credits after getting 124 Pokemon end. I should not need X speed here. I should not need it. It's run over if I mess up though. Speed's nice because it gives me a guaranteed kill on the second Onyx. I don't need it to kill the Hitmonlee. I need it for a guaranteed kill with Ice Beam. One forty two is pretty okay. I elixir on. Elixir on. Swap and swap back. Don't forget to swap back later. T bolt slot one, psychic slot two, hit down. Next fight is Agility, x Ack, Elixir, Horn Drill. Menu up to Horn Drill. Do not forget to menu the Horn Drill. I literally lose the run if I don't. This whole run comes down to Champion. I'm 19% to die the Sky Attack from Fool.
I barely, I think I should save. Because I barely have the time, I think. If I get second, if I get killed. I think it's close. Always dead to crit, 19% to survive. Or er, 81% to survive non-crit. I can't agility first with a badge boost either, which sucks. Max Elixir. Here, Virgil. Four Sor, Max Elixir. One thing left. <sighs> One singular thing left can go wrong in the run. Sky attack critical, guaranteed Oko. Sky attack non crit, 19% Oko. That is all that remains in the entire run. Here we go. I'll s this guarantees a PB. This does not guarantee the sub 630 goal. Just anything but sky attack turn one, please. Just not sky attack turn one. Literally anything but sky attack turn one, please. Just not sky attack. Jolie, that's fine. I win. Horn drill. I think that's sub 630. I barely got there. Just don't teach hyper beam. Not hyper beam over horn drill. And don't cancel the evolution. I think it's enough time. It's so close. This is really close. I think this is like a 629.50. I have three Mons. I have the Haunter with me. And the Evolution. It's so close. Do not teach. Do not teach. Do not teach. It's so close. Hands off. Hands off. I don't know if it's enough. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Please, hurry. I 
I don't think it's enough. I think it's one minute from here. I think that's a 6.30.05. That was as fast as I could mash. I got there, I think. I got it. <sighs> Dude, I got sub 630 in 124. I got it. It finally happened, man. <sighs> That's an insane run. <sighs> Dude, I actually got it. I got sub 630 and 124. That is insane. That is such a hard run. Oh, dude, that's so sick. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, yes. Oh. Oh, I worked so hard for this run, man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I did it. <laughs> I actually did it. Oh, dude, I never thought I'd get it. That's so hard. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh, that's been years. Oh, my heart, dude. It's pounding so hard there at the end. Oh, I got it. Yes. By four seconds, too. Oh my god. That's it, man. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's the last time I have to run this game. That's GG. Whew. Oh, what a crazy run. Whew. Dude, what an insane run. That zone. The zone carried. And I just didn't choke seven. at all. Oh, I can't believe I held it together. Oh, dude, my heart's pounding. Oh, yes, man. Oh, what an insane run. Twitch plays Pokemon was over. Fishing almost cost it and then kept it together. V Road. I had a sick V Road, a good Seafoam, Lens Articuno. That saved everything. Oh, my God. Six. <laughs> Dude, I didn't think that was possible, like, four months ago. Holy crap. 124? That's it. Oh, I cannot believe I got it, man. Dilly. Yes! <sighs> oh, dude, my heart's pounding so fast. I was so nervous. I was trying to calc if I could save for champ or if I had to YOLO the whole run. Mm -hmm. And I thought I miscalced. Because I didn't know if Haunter was 9 seconds or like 13 at the end. I was trying to think like how fast Haunter's cry was. I thought I threw when I saved. If you thought ice was my weakness, you've never seen Jesse with a frying oh, pan. Oh man. Uh, thank you, Ever Gifted. Oh my god. I was. Sorry, I was not looking at chat. Alright, well, that's it for 124. Bing, 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 bing. I'm so happy. Bing, 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 bing. That was so. I for crying, oh my god. Kinda weird. Ugh. I just put so much into this run for like years, man. 57. I'm just so happy I got like a really good time. Oh man. Oh, 
on it is usually the best run I've ever done. I'm dead, dude. Hey, it's your turn. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Oh, God. I thought he threw. That scared me so much. Let's go, man. Thank y'all for being here. Through the, uh, the five-year grind. For a good 124 time, you know? Never thought it would happen. Because normally I'd say more runs tomorrow, but... I'll do runs of something tomorrow, but... That's it for 124. Unless I come up with something. But yeah, later guys.